Welcome to the old flagrant two. Not, yeah. not the old old flagrant two. No, no. This is like the first revision of flagrant yeah, two. Yeah, right? You're right. This is the second draft. Exactly. Second draft flagrant two is your boy Schultz, Akash Singh, Alex Media, the OGs. You know what I'm saying? The varsity here, squad. Yeah, we're looking yeah, a little lean here, today. A little Corona, lean today. Corona busy feasting on the rest <laughs> of the crew. <laughs> So if you come to Miami, you got to be ready for that Rona. It's a guarantee. Hey, guarantee. But, but you know what? Now we know yeah. we got antibodies and that shit works. Yo, yeah. that, we, we got antibodies that shit work, but Corona is feasting on Mark's flabby ass. Yep. Bro, because yep. you know what it is? Mark was doing that one meal a day shit. What's it called? Oh, mad? Oh, mad. He was, oh, he mad. <laughs> <laughs> he real mad right now. Let me tell you. That one meal a day shit got his immune system trash. Yep. Ooh. I bet you. 100%. Oh, absolutely. Real yeah. man do two meals a day. Son, I'll be drinking oat milk three times a day. <laughs> I got a ginger shot, bro. I got everything. Oh, going you doing it, boy. Son, get boy out here, bro. Oh, you doing it. I be swimming in my <laughs> pool. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing making me happier than Texas being frozen. Oh, son. <laughs> Yo. Oh, son. But for real, w w before we get to that, we just got to say that, uh, you know, we got to wish best of luck to the people in our crew that are uh, going through the Rona. <laughs> Fucking Rona running it back on Mark's ass right now. <laughs> Rona was like, I ain't get enough. Daddy wants seconds. Oh Bro, God. you know how Mark eats everybody's leftovers? <laughs> <laughs> That's how Rona treated Mark. <laughs> Rona came over to Mark like this. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Bro, uh, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's so great. I'm so happy it wasn't me this time. Oh, so good. I'm so happy. It's so nice. Oh, good. I'm so happy because I got Rona the worse. So you I'm like, did. fuck, I, I got the worst immune system. But this motherfucker got it twice. <laughs> 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 that Pussy. motherfucker, son. Pussy. Pussy ass That's motherfucker, y'all. soft ass shit. Son. You get Rona twice, bro. You got antibodies and your antibodies like, no, <laughs> go away. <laughs> son, imagine Mark got like some real fucked up shit. Uh, Come on, so, don't do that. No, nah, but if he got AIDS or something like that, bro, maybe that's why he only had sex with one person his whole life, because he knew if he got AIDS, that shit would be ravaging his body right now. <laughs> ravaging oh it, bro. So, uh, Miles? Yeah. Poor Miles, bro. Just broke into the crew. You know what I'm saying? Just came on the well, first shoot. The crew broke him in, too. <laughs> Yo, fast, bro. That's what it is. If you want to work for us, you got to get Rona, bro. That's, That's what it is. is, bro. Simple as that. Now you can enjoy Miami unless you mark and you get that shit twice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Guaranteed Bitch. mark that a third time. 100% guaranteed. Little flamingo ass. We're going to make his little flamingo <laughs> ass walk around with one of these little things. <laughs> 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 little dainty ass immune system, oh. paper mache oh. having immune system, bro. Oh. Come on. And Come we, on. We were all in all the same places. So I, we all, all went to the same places, same, same dinner, dinner, same everything. Oh, uh, boy, he got got, huh? Yep. And Rona, Rona made a choice. Duck, duck, mark. That's, <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's! Happy Valentine's, oh. baby! Oh my god! But uh, in all seriousness, it is too funny, bro. It's so good. It's too funny because oh, I don't man. know if we've properly uh, explained how cavalier people are here about Corona. Like, people just accept that you're gonna get Corona. It's crazy. Like, I went to a gym today. Yeah. And uh, we put on a mask as we were walking into the gym, and the guy goes. Oh no, we don't do that. What? <laughs> he said, what? So he didn't. He didn't oh my god! He didn't say. He didn't say you don't have to. He was like, no, we don't do that. So wild. Like dog. their policy was no mask. That's so wild. At the gym, like I should be able to protect myself. Yeah, that. there's got to be a happy medium, right? I love that. Everybody at the gym just get it so we can all work out in peace, not have some shit covering our masks. What the if you like Mark yeah, and you catch bro. that shit twice, son? Herd immunity. You saw. <laughs> Mark needs the herd, bro. <laughs> bro, Mark got... <laughs> His Mark immunity got ain't the, herd. He got that shit once already. <laughs> Facts, bro. Dude, real talk. Mark, he he looks... How do I say this? He's a handsome guy. He's fit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's charming and fun. But his immune system mm -hmm. is like equivalent to his behavior on the internet. 
<laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Like he's yeah. a redditor inside. Do you know he got I mean? that four chan behind yeah, immunity. He got, he got four chan immune system. Like you cough on Mark, it's over. That motherfucker's an Iroquois. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mark, Mark got the, Mark got the immune system of someone who knows how to use every part of the buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mark, it's okay. Hopefully, you'll be back next week. Hopefully, hopefully. He got it worse this time, too. Did he? He said, I talked to him today, he said he has no taste, no smell. Yeah. And you know, Mark always acts like he has nothing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he's like, dude, yeah. I'm fine, bro. And then I was like, no, for real, how are you? He's like, I'm not doing that great. Yeah, <laughs> see, that's the thing. It, it, for, it seems like we're being mean to our friend who has a potentially life-threatening illness right now. We are. But we are. But at the other, uh, other point, you have to understand, mm, Mark net claims he's never been sick in his life. He actually claims that. It's, it's insane. Yeah. When we're on the road... And he's sniffling on all this other shit. Yeah. He clips. He's not sick at all. Yeah. The only Alex gets sick and the only I get sick. He doesn't get sick at all. He also been, he been a Floridian this whole time about COVID. Yeah. Remember when we went to eat in he Kansas didn't City? not believe it. That motherfucker had his mask off the whole mask time we're eating. Off. As soon as we got in the restaurant, mask off. In an mm -hmm. Uber, mask off. On the plane, mm -hmm. mask off. Yeah. Wyland. Yep. <laughs> right. First time I saw him on a plane, he didn't have Ant a mask. Anti-vax, he don't want to get vaccinated. Oh, no, he gonna no. need the vaccine because he's gonna keep <laughs> getting it, bro. He's gonna get it three, four times, and then he's just gonna go, fuck it, vaccinate me. He needs the vaccine. He needs the vaccine. Vaccine probably give it to him a third time, but you know what I mean? He needs it. Damn, bro. Damn. Or that motherfucker is perfectly fine and just wanted a day off. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> if I find out that's the fucking case. I'm going to go through the roof because he's with Miles right now. And Miles has all the symptoms. Yeah. Tested negative. Whoa. Really? My, so I checked in on Miles. He told me what he had. And I was like, you sound just like I signed it. You got that shit. Miles texts me today. He's like, yeah, I don't think we should tell people that uh, we have Corona on the podcast. And I was like, you don't think that. <laughs> 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 That's for you to think. <laughs> you must have brain fog, bro. Oh, man, we telling. Oh, we telling, bro. We got to keep it open. Got to keep it honest. You know, this ain't a Netflix special. <laughs> 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 Your boys were rolling up during that Netflix special. <laughs> I even had people message me a couple times and be like, bro, I'm not going to lie. A couple of those episodes, I could tell you were going through it. <laughs> I tell you, you were a little sick in a couple of those episodes. Anyway. Mm. Oh, man. Everybody had a good Valentine's? Yeah, I was moving. Yeah. Akash officially moved down. Yeah, Al officially I was, I was fucked in up. The cold. I was <laughs> in the cold. That sucked. Can you explain how you officially fucked up? <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> Yo, I'd rather Yo, not. Stop. We all going to go over how we fucked up Valentine's, it's bro. It's still kind of a sore spot right <laughs> at the moment. Al, listen, I almost fought two people. Okay, talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. That sounds more fun chest. than mine. You, but I know this is on me. This is my insecurity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed something about myself after 37 years. When I'm in com uncomfortable in an environment, mm -hmm. right? Like this can be some I, shit we know for 10. Like when I don't know how to like operate an environment, I don't know like the etiquette or the rules. Yes. Right? If I'm in too fancy a place or like anytime I walk into like a, a fancy watch shop or some shit yeah. like that, yeah. I don't know the names of these watches. I'm capping, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I mean? I yeah. just made money. I'm trying to waste it. Yeah. You know cool. what I mean? <laughs> New money, baby. So exactly. And my girl be throwing that shit to me when we go into the watch place. Like, so what are you here to get? And I'm like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> why, why are you doing that to me? Now all the pressure's on me. They're going to know we're frauds. They're going to know we're frauds. Right? So, oh, man. So we're at... um. Anytime I'm in the, one of these environments where I'm uncomfortable, I assume everybody in that environment is trying to fuck me over somehow. Yeah. Okay. Every interaction yeah. is trying to fuck me over, yeah. right? So earlier in the day, we were at a watch shop. We were at the Audemars watch, mm -hmm. watch shop. Jesus Whoa. Christ. No, no. This is why it's Come always on. good to go to watch shops, right? They never got the good shit in there. It's all sold out. You can't get these watches. So you just go in knowing what watch you want, which they will never have. You have to be on a list for years to get these fucking watches, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. You know they don't have it. So you go in, you're like, hey, do you have the uh, the Royal Oak? They're like, ah, oh, we don't have any in. I'm like, ah, oh, damn, I was about to throw oh, money that's, on that's that shit. That's an ill flex. That's the exact, you say whatever, you, they'll never have it in, yeah. especially a place like AP. And if they do have it in, you it goes to somebody else. You'll never be forced to buy. Ah, uh, because everybody on the There's list. The list, yeah, the list, yeah, the okay, list, okay. the list. So in the, and my man, I think he took a little jab at me. 
Because I had on my okay. Roly, right? Okay. right? Yeah. Which is my girl's Roly that yeah. I just wear because right. she don't wear right. it enough. Right. Respect. 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 Sir Capilot. Respect. Hey, hey, Captain <laughs> Crunch out there, bitch. But he don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you got it. He said this to me. He goes, oh, I see you got the sub right there. That's a, yeah, that's a nice little watch. Uh, like that. He, he put like little, little in or something yeah, like that. Doing that. And it was, he went at, right, so I, my defenses are up. And yeah. I'm like, okay, is this, am I going to have to start out like a thing here? Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, my girl's right next to me. Like, but here's the thing. I don't know the name of any of the watches in the store. I'm literally Googling what watch I want on my phone as we're walking into the AP store, mm -hmm. right? Right. We're in the AP store and they're like, which one are you looking for? And my phone is still on. But I don't notice, and I'm looking at the guy, and my phone comes down, and he sees that I'm Googling what type of, <laughs> of watch, and then he points at my stupid oh. phone, and he goes, oh, yeah, the Royal Oak one? Yeah, we don't have any in there. That's good. The Google says, what is the name of the Steel Audemar Damn. PJ, whatever the fuck it is? I'm Yo, capping. I'm capping. Who cares, though? I don't care. Yeah, I'm saying why you care when you walk in. You don't have to know no, nothing. No. For some, when I don't know, like let me the tell etiquette, you something, bro. Let me tell you something. You walk in that store and you don't know nothing. That lets people know you just you making money on your own. You're not old money. You're right. Listen, I'm new money and I'm proud of it. Yeah, but I'll be honest, I don't come from nothing. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I did. I was all right growing up. Everything was cool. So you weren't doing like Audemars, though. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, no. no. It's different. I'm still not. I'm still not. <laughs> right? I'm still not. Why are you even walking into these? If stores, you walking into the store, you doing it. You prepared, bro. Now you are gonna get one. I was not prepared. I'm I didn't know it. the name of the fucking thing. I'm calling it before you're 38. You're gonna have the illest Audemars or what's the other one? The mother, the super expensive one. Patek. Hublot. Patek. Uh, yeah, he can have a Patek Hublot. Yeah. I, apparently, he's not that great of a watch. Oh really? Oh shit! My cousin's a big watch excuse, guy. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> excuse <laughs> me. Get out of here. Okay, then. Nah, he, got, he got the Roly though. He got the Roly. Yeah, gifted. Yeah, listen, we got Rolies out here, bro. Son, <laughs> Andrew be gifting Rolies, but he don't get one for himself. Listen, my, I, I gifted this shit to my girl. Y'all want to know how cheap Schultz is? I'm gonna tell y'all. This is Sir Capilot. Ready? Here we go. I give this shit to my girl, right? She's not wearing it that much, right? And then we find out there's a way within oh, the watch. Shit. Oh, shit. Right? To like hide a link. Mm. Oh, word? Without taking out the link. Mm -hmm. And I said, hold up. Mm. Add that, like, stretch it out a little bit more. And the reason you can do that is because these watches are supposed to be worn while you're uh, scuba diving. Okay. So I think they let you extend the size of it yeah. so you can fit over a wetsuit. Yep. By the way, this is how much I cap. We we're shooting this thing for culprit, the underwear thing over the weekend. And um, my dumb ass is wearing a Rolex Submariner, right? Mm -hmm. I ask these motherfuckers before I hop on the jet ski. I go, guys. Oh, my God. Come on. I go, guys. Even I know that. I go, guys. Come on. <laughs> I go, guys. Can I get this thing wet? Oh, my God. And I just hear Miles go sheepishly. Like, he wasn't even trying to make me look stupid. He felt bad for me. Yeah, he Miles goes, is a sweetheart. He goes, uh, he goes, um... It's called a sub <laughs> <laughs> It's got submarine in the fucking title. The title has oh submarine in it. So your boy's capping, okay? Yeah. It's what it is. That's what you got to do, bro. <laughs> He's like, come on. Anyway, so we be sharing this shit. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? That's what you got to do. I wish up. my girl had the same size shoe as me, but I don't, but I do. Like, I don't want her physically to have that big feet. Right. But I would love to share some kicks. 100%. You know what you're getting into. You're getting into the sneaker game for rich people. This is the watch game. The watch game is, is, is like sneaker game for like really rich people. We're not fucking around. But you know what I realized about the watch game is if you got money and you buy the fancy watches, you don't lose money. You just make money. Why? Because it appreciates in value? Yeah. So it's like, like even this watch right here, apparently it's so hard to get. It's so limited. Shout out to Justin, by the way. Justin who hooked me up in Orlando. Uh, it's so hard to get that the the what's it called? The secondary market for it is super inflated. Just because the supply is so low. Mm -hmm. So it on these fancy watches, like the APs, the whatever, like you buying that watch, as long as you don't fuck it up, 
Yeah. You're selling it for way more right. than you bought it for. So these people aren't really like blowing their money on watches. Mm -hmm. They're actually investing in it like it's a stock or anything. Yeah. And then if you want to sell it and then upgrade to something else later, you can. It's, it's actually a pretty safe investment as long as you don't fuck it up. Hmm. Is that real? I hear Sorry. the same thing about purses and I feel like this is what you say to it. I don't know if I buy the purse thing. Yeah. I don't know if I buy the purse thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I buy the purse thing. That's the same thing. And with watches, they're going to get wear and tear when you wear them. Also yeah. True. So it doesn't I'll that... be banging in this shit. Yeah, into like, things. I should have got scratch. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. This shit is bad. My and shit going to look like it. an iPhone from some sorority bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this shit going to have a cracked ass screen. What time is it? I don't know. <laughs> what time you think it is? Yeah, it could be It could be bad situation. Um, but you did tighten it, though, before you got close to the water. Come on, bro. Don't do that. Don't Come do that. on. Don't do that. No. So... So the turn thing, whatever the fuck that turn thing is called, you got to screw it all the way to make it waterproof. If you don't screw it all the way in, then water can get inside. Yeah, my shit ain't even going around the circles no more. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <ain't laughs> so Did I just ruin this goddamn watch? <laughs> Come on, Al. Why didn't nobody tell me that? <laughs> nobody, <laughs> told you. nobody told me. It's tight. Why would it not be already in? I didn't know that, to be honest. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's like it makes it easy for you to take it out, adjust the time or whatever, but when you're going to get it wet, then you have to screw it all the way to make it airtight. So uh, I'll come take on, better bro. care of your Rolexes than you do, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. Yeah, my shit is done, bro. My shit is broken. Let me see Fuck. for <laughs> Fucking A, <hey>, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That shit is just bro. That shit's still saying February 13th. <laughs> it's just a reminder of the last day I fucked up my watch. Oh my god. Damn, bro. Oh, son. Fuck, dude. Oh, Whatever, bro. We in Miami. <laughs> I don't count in Miami. Yo, can you wear a watch that the, the, the time doesn't work? Like, I don't use my watch for the time. Nah, it's a flex. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck, I never yeah. look at it. I never if somebody asks you your time, you don't look at your watch. So sometimes I be doing that shit. It's mad pressure though. I be doing because you that don't shit. look like a fucking retard. Nah, but I, I be doing that shit and I be having to like count. Yeah, like, bro. <laughs> you know, like when somebody asks you what I what can't. letter comes after R, you be like A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. You gotta start that shit at the jump. <laughs> but yeah, I can't tell the time of this shit at all, bro. <laughs> Not even close. Anyway, Akash, you didn't get your girl nah, present either? Nah, we're delaying it. Y'all ain't shit, bro. <laughs> Step it up. Get your girl's presents, bro. Come on, man. Yo, Give you. your girl a nice weekend. Like, Oh, what'd you do? I, we're talking about you. Bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're not. About you Let's right talk now. about it. You nah. are so lucky because you get Valentine's and birthday one. Yeah, my girl's Bang. birthday is Valentine's at the exact same time. Oh, day. amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's amazing. Every single Consolidate. Time. One big gift, That's one big sad. day, you're done. That's sad. Oh, man. Fuck. It's like finals week for you. It's stressful. But, but then when that, it's over, vacation. Gold. Oh, that's great. Gold. That's nice. What'd that's you do? Uh, we just went to some restaurants. You know what I mean? Was, He's a foodie, though, so that's stop good. Stop downplaying it. You did mad shit. I mean, it's just life for me now. Yeah. <laughs> like, this motherfucker. What can I say, bro? This hey, motherfucker has Dove sweating trying to plan this whole shit. <laughs> hey, bro, you, you got to earn that pool house, bro. That shit ain't <laughs> free out here, too. You know what I mean? The world wants to be in Miami. Texas is freezing. You know, Wyoming is freezing. New that's York true. is freezing. That's true. They doing dance in the streets in New York. That shit was so stupid. It was stupid I as fuck. I fucking hate de Blasio, dog. Yo. What a fucking moron. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I got to save your fucking lives, man. I got to save your lives. And what I mean by that is I got to make sure that you don't lose your hair. And that is a choice nowadays. I know it sounds crazy. I know that some of you out there are going, wait, I thought we all are just going to go bald and that's mm -hmm. inevitable. We have to accept it. No, you don't have to accept it anymore. You can stop that, Okay. I'm a testament, beautiful head of hair. And that's because I've been on keeps. Well, now I'm on keeps, but initially I was on the same active ingredients for over a decade. Okay. I saw my thing, my hair thinning a little bit. And hopped I was like, on it quick. Hopped on it so fast. I remember it. I saw it. We were living freaked together. Freaked out. You freaked out for about a month. Then you got on it. Good. Right before we went to DC. You to regrew some hair. Me. I regrew hair. That yep. happens. So I'm telling you, this is me. This is for me. This is 100% honest. And this is true. You got to do Keeps. And what I'm going to do is make sure you get the first month free. All you got to do is go to keeps.com slash flagrant. Use our promo code flagrant. You're going to get the first month free. They got, uh, you know, they got a treatment starting as low as like $10 a month. I'm just $10 a month for you to keep all your hair. This is a no fucking brainer. Okay. The only thing in life that determines how well a male ages is if he has a full head of hair. Mm. Simple as that. 
Go take care of your shit right now. All right? Let's get back to the show. Honestly, de Blasio and Cuomo have set Italian politicians back 50 years. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 50 years they sent them back. Older. I'm not electing no fucking Italian. Bro, I love Italians. Italians I love Italians. If you ask an Italian what is the best cheese, it's from Italy. What mm -hmm. is the best wine? Yep. It's from Italy. Mm -hmm. yep. What is the best vacation destination? It's somewhere in Italy. Everything, they love Italians so much. Yep. There are two Italians, not even Italians fuck with. Mayor de Blasio, Governor Cuomo. You ask any Italian, they'll be like, nah, they're fucking dead to us now. Dead. Really? They oh, yeah, they lost the Italians. Everybody was sucking Cuomo's dick early in the pandemic, which I also was, I was well, like, we didn't chill. know that he was killing these fucking old people, bro. Did you hear the shit that came out about that? Uh, that he lied about the numbers of deaths in the nursing yeah. home? And then apparently one of his, like, tell me where I'm wrong, one of his, like, press secretaries or whatever his said. AIDS, his top AIDS. AIDS said they asked him about it and everybody just froze. Like, are we supposed to hand this information over because or not? they didn't want Trump to send the Justice Department in there. Yeah. Mm. Right. So they basically froze. It didn't hand over the information, didn't mm. say it. So they deflated the number of deaths Fucking by like 50 percent. I guess it was bro. in that like little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And listen, I don't blame him for old people dying of Corona because that's who yeah. dies of Corona. I don't blame him for um, like Corona being spread through these old people homes because those are the people who are most vulnerable and most willing to get it. Right. Yeah. Like and, and we don't know what the fuck to do in the beginning. Yep. So it's you can't be psychic. Right. I do blame him for knowingly suppressing the amount of deaths. Foul. And then I'm pretty sure he wrote a fucking book about how great he handled the pandemic. Is that a fact? Please Can you check look that? this up? I'm pretty sure. I hate this motherfucker, yo. Bro, that I is too much. That shit. That I is too much. I hate that shit. Yeah, yeah. All these actors that were sucking his dick, tweeting about how great he was. Where yeah, you at he's now? Be president. Where you blah, blah, blah. at now? No, I don't know. Mourning their dead grandparents <laughs> because of that chimp nippled sauce monkey. <laughs> that fucking chimp nippled sauce monkey, Andrew Cuomo, Governor Cuomo. Oh, Embarrassing. Shit. Literally killed New York City, man. Bruh. Killed the jewel of the West. Dude, I talk. Do you talk yeah, to friends did. back home? He did write a book about the battle that New York had with COVID. Yeah, yeah, well, did, did he leave that little part out? Yeah. He must have left that little part out <laughs> yeah. where he was just the killing battle. fucking old people. Yeah. I, I don't think he would include that. The in Battle it. of yeah. People Born in 1812. Where's that? <laughs> Where's that chapter? But it, it is crazy, right? What a piece of shit, dude. Piece of shit. He but, killed he killed New York. But because he's a coward. Yeah. Because these motherfuckers have political aspirations outside of where yep. they are. Yep. Right? So they were too scared. It's not like they're worried about people dying, mm -hmm. right? And maybe it is. I don't want to put all that out there. I'm sure there's concern about people dying, of course, in, right. in everybody. Nobody wants there to be deaths. Okay. But clearly, he was willing to hide deaths from the public in order to make sure that his political career continued on the same path, That's right? So we've do. proven he's done yeah. that for a fact, mm -hmm. yeah. right? He hid deaths. Mm -hmm. so that he wouldn't be culpable for those deaths, so he could continue doing what he's doing and ascending to, who knows, a potential presidential run, et cetera. Right. So he's willing to put his own political progress ahead of deaths. Yep. We know that. Now, this is why he's a coward, in my opinion, okay? Because you have a guy who is not willing to roll the dice on the success of the state, mm. right? And this is where I got to give credit to DeSantis, the gov governor of Florida. Right. He is willing to roll the dice. Yes. Right? He's willing to roll the dice, and he's going to take all the responsibility. It's on me. It's on me. If it goes wrong, if Florida implodes, and there's just this infestation of corona, and 50% of the people fucking die, that's on one guy. Yep. Governor Rick DeSantis. Yep. Right? He rolled the fucking dice for his state. Right? Maybe he has aspirations to be president. I never heard him speak about it before. Nobody yeah. ever brought his fucking name up. It was only Cuomo and Gavin Newsom, right? Everybody like, oh my God, the way that Cuomo's handling the pandemic. Oh my God, Gavin Newsom is so presidential. Who are the two least likely people to be president? The, in the two future? fucking most fraudulent people mm -hmm. who killed the two most important cities in America, probably? The crown jewel. Definitely the New York. Yeah, DC, I get, but definitely New York, definitely LA up there. And both yeah. of those cities are dead. Yeah. Entertainment. Every entertainer lived in New York or L.A. Mm -hmm. All of them gone. Yeah. Fleeing. And then, I mean, you look at this and you look at Florida and everybody's moving to Florida. Everybody. Texas or Florida. Texas or Florida. And I'm telling you, it is a ballsy decision. 
he will get credit, but you don't see his name spoken that much. But people don't realize this. Like the dude, and I know it sounds like I'm stroking dicks, but I am stroking dick. The guy saved fucking lives. When I call my friends and my family back home in New York, they're so depressed, dude. Yeah. They're so fucking yep. depressed. It's awful. It is brutal. Awful. It's already hard in New York in the winter. Awful. You can't do anything now. Yep. Now, obviously, there are people that they have to stay there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They just have to. Right. Financial restrictions. Inc- not everybody has the ability to just up and move, right? But politicians could could do things. They know that they can do things because there's examples of them being done right here in Florida. Yep. They know that they could open things up. 100%. They choose not to. And they are crushing the souls of the people back home, man. It's, and it's fucking. I don't understand disgusting. how somehow it's not. Oh, it's not like a thing that we're allowed to talk about. That Cuomo's fucked up this entire thing. Lockdowns are way too strict. Those people get celebrated, and I just think there can be a happy medium between, hey, we're not allowed to wear masks at the gym, and hey, I'm shutting down indoor dining in New York, which is the restaurant capital of the world, maybe. And you're all just gonna have to figure it out. This is Florida. This is what Florida does, right? Young people go, fuck it, I'm going to get corona. Yep. That is the policy of young people. Yep. Uh, maybe you guys have experienced something different, but as far as I'm concerned, every person under 40, let's say, not even just young, every person under 40 just goes, yeah, I had that shit back in the day. I have yet to meet a single person in Florida that hasn't had it. They, I, I mean, yep. listen, we, they say one thing about the numbers, about yep. the amount, I don't know. I don't know if I essentially believe it. Yeah. Every single person that I've met here under 40 has said they had it. It is no. the Sweden of the U.S. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, he's right? not locking down nothing. You get it, you get it. We're going to be immune at some point. That's now, the old, good. That's but good point. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Now, the old people mask up. Mm. I always see old people masked up, and then old people take that shit seriously. Yep. Why is that not the strategy of every single state in the United States? Every single state or city around the world? It works. Florida is the example I think we're in the lower half. Florida is in the lower half of COVID deaths or even COVID um, cases. I, I heard it's, something. There's two things I think. I think they're 27th. My, two things might explain. One, I'm with Joe Rogan on the vitamin D makes a big difference thing. Yeah. Man, this is the Sunshine State, isn't it? And two, humidity I've heard can really help with like the severity of COVID. Mm. If it's high humidity, Miami got both of those. So if right. you get it, it might not be as severe. Again, you, I just think there's a happy medium between fuck you, we're not wearing masks, I, I refuse to wear masks, this is all made up, yeah. and hey, we're taking this so seriously, we're shutting down everything because I want to be president one day. Mm. Who was the last Italian president? I'm not electing some fucking Italian for president. Come on. Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Was he Italian? No, nah, but Delano sounds kind of Italian. <laughs> Del- probably his half. <laughs> By half. <laughs> no, I don't know if, if we've ever had an Italian We're president. not going to. JFK? I don't trust y'all with it. Now, he was an Irish. He was Irish, but he was mobbed up. I trust an Irish <laughs> before I trust an Italian. Yeah, but I actually like Italians uh, for president. Yeah, you know, I kind of, no, for president, I like President, that. explain. Yeah. Sell me on this. It's Trump. Trump's Italian. He's not, but he is. Okay. Everything about Trump is, is just Italian. Yeah, that wasn't all great. But I liked it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I like everything about his personality. I liked as a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's the funniest guy. He's the funniest on guy. The fucking planet. Of course. Yeah. Like how boring is Twitter without him going oh, after? Oh my god! It's, it's, it's I'm just, I'm actually happy that he got acquitted because hopefully he gets active again. Is like, he going to be allowed tweeting. back on Twitter? Oh, they're saying he's not allowed back. He's he kicked off of Twitter. Yeah. It's not because I, of an impeachment. No, no, no. He got back on Twitter. When? Yeah, he got back on Twitter like the day after or something like that. Oh, really? I I think Twitter said if he runs again, they won't allow him to be on. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. If you're Trump, are you running again if you lose Twitter? I don't think he's running again. You want to do that shit? You really want to We didn't think he wanted to be president once. We didn't think he wanted to be president twice. Yeah. Yeah. Is Biden alive? (laughs) <laughs> have y'all heard from biden you at got, all? is biden that you sent us in the topic list oh yeah but you didn't finish and i'm so happy to know yeah the yeah. last word is alive, alive yeah yeah I, no. no but is he because i no haven't heard chance. from him at all no chance no like is he dead no he gotta be he's been dead since fucking march <laughs> from what? march 2018 2018 yeah <laughs> no but like i have no clue if he's alive or dead like have you heard from him has he said anything He's signing some orders. Like every once in a while, he goes like, "We're gonna fight this thing." Yeah, I also think we you could pre-record not paying those. attention at all. 
Like we've been in Miami, we, we're not paying attention, dude. It's so easy to like, get we're lost. We're not paying down here. attention at all. Yo, home. you know what Miami is? I try to. Get, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I try to get a, like into political shit. Like yeah. when people are telling me something's happening, like I try. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I hear all these stories, all these stories going down here. They're like, oh, you know, uh, fucking Justin Timberlake apologized to Britney and Janet Jackson or whatever like that. And I'm just like, I don't care. No, that's the beauty of also not being in, in Florida in particular, but not being in New York or L.A. You care less about this stuff. You're yeah. not surrounded by stuff like. No, you're not surrounded by people who give a fuck about this dude, stuff. Dude, all my friends, they fucking care still. Yeah. Like one of my boys back home, I was like the chimp nipple sauce monkey that shut down the uh, uh, New York, yeah. uh, Governor Cuomo. I was like, yeah, you hear this? Governor Cuomo, he was hiding the numbers of the dead people. He goes, but what about Trump's involvement in all this? Oh. I'm like, oh, I see. That's what life is like over there. You still got to care yeah. about these fucking things. Yeah. But down here, no. Dude, Democrats, the rare times they do win because they're fucking losers through and through. Yeah, they're like yeah. professional losers. Even when they win, they don't know how to handle it. They're still acting like losers. Yo, but Trump, you you won. Mm. Why am I worried about the guy I beat? That you is won. interesting because God, you're losers. I've noticed that like the bar for canceling people is getting really low. Yeah. And I'm trying to understand like if this is are they emboldened or they empowered by a Biden victory? Like once you get the victory over the Trump. Yep. Now, are you just looking for other things to cancel? Was Trump actually better for society in general? I'm not talking about his policy. I'm not talking about his fucking douchebaggery with the Capitol, yep. inciting the Capitol stuff. I'm not, I'm not talking about how, how much of a buffoon he was with COVID and how he mishandled COVID. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about- His ethos of flagrancy. Yes. Having one, having one bad guy- that you just direct all your cancellation attention to mm. kind of stops you from going after Justin Timberlake for saying he smashed Britney Spears. Yeah. Like, that's what we're upset about. Yeah. And do you really think that Justin, like, took off Janet Jackson's t top without her knowing? Oh, I just thought he knew and then he let her take the blame. And if y'all are friends, male, female, I don't know, y'all are friends. So, like, don't show up to the Grammys after she gets kicked out. Right. What yeah. was his reaction to it? He was like, oh, I didn't know. He he just wrote his apology now. I didn't even read it. But I also, the original one. Back when it happened, I think he just didn't speak He just up. never addressed it. So, like, she was getting all the criticism and, you know, he played a part in it. He I got it. An, I, I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't his idea. No, no, of course not. I don't think I, he pitched no. the idea to Janet Jackson. Hey, why don't I pop your titty out in the middle of the Super Bowl? This is Janet fucking Jackson. This yeah. is a music legend. Of course. Justin yeah. Timberlake is barely a, not a boy band star. Right? Mm -hmm. So, if it's her idea... And he complies. Actually, no, he was huge at that point. He yeah. had his first album. He's not Janet Jackson huge. He's not a legend. Yeah, he's, he's not even close. Like, right. Janet's here, right. and this is a boy band star. Yeah. Right? Like, real talk, you could make the argument that Justin Timberlake isn't a legend still. I'm not a fan. I've always been a hater. Mm. I, I think he's incredibly talented, but I won't say legend. Like, in terms of musical legend? I don't know if he's there, dog. I, Name the song. I would... Cry Me a River, the uh, song, the song that ruined Britney Spears. Yeah. That song slap, bro. That <laughs> shit. And low key. Oh boy, he got some bangers. Low key. They were right. I stopped fucking with Britney after that. No, I did too. <laughs> I stopped I fucking too. with. I was like, oh, you so cheated that, on my yo, man. Y'all so, both wore denim together, and then you just gonna cheat on my man so I did with too, a backup so. dancer that got molested by Michael Jackson. Look how this whole shit going full circle. <laughs> Wait, it was Wade Robinson. It was Wade cheated? Robinson. I thought it was yo, what's her name, Federline. No, nah, it was first Wade Robson. She liked them backup dancers, bro. Yo, Yo she be putting up she backup be backing and up backup on them backup dancers. dancers no, nah, both of them split her shit. Mm. Real talk. Yeah. That was when Britney was free, getting cracked out all over the place. <laughs> now, maybe you need a lock up, Britney. God. Maybe you need to lock up that poon on her. Chastity Bell, at least. Yo, something. Yeah. Yo, Joe Simpson. What's his name? Britney, Joe Spears. No. Jamie. It's some Spears, I assume. Well, it's got to be Spears. Yeah. <laughs> you, said right? you said Jessica Simpson. You said Simpson. Jessica Simpson's dad is Joe Simpson. Okay. Right? But doesn't right. Britney have a Joe Simpson? And Mr. Britney Spears. I'm hey. I'm pretty sure it's Jamie. What? Is, what? I think it's Jamie. Jamie Spears? Yeah. No, Jamie Spears is her sister. Jamie yeah. Lynn Spears. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> we don't know nothing. We don't know nothing, as we shouldn't. Point is, you cheated on JT. Yeah. Yeah, they're both Jamie. You cheat on JT, and then you want to cry about it. Well, cry me a river, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on now, cry me a river. And then when 50 Cent hopped on that joint, it was over. Well, 50 called out Britney. You remember that? Let's you had a song about you, Britney? Uh. 
boy. Uh, <laughs> my man didn't give a but fuck. But you don't know what it's like to get cheated on by Wade Robinson. Yo, that is the extra. You don't know what it's like to get cheated on by the motherfucker telling you how to dance. <laughs> Wade was making Justin do dance moves that made him look super flamboyant. And then Britney couldn't respect him no more, bro. <laughs> and then he just swooped in. That's the move, real talk. Real yeah. talk. That's the move. Wade Robinson, a G for that. He knows how to manipulate. I wonder where he learned that from. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know where he learned that from. Smooth criminal probably taught him that shit. Yeah, that was smooth. A the way very he did it. smooth the way, criminal. The way he stole Britney? Smooth. Shit. Hey, wait, you're welcome. Thank you, Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Teaching you how to how to be mm-hmm. a smooth criminal. And that's why JT ripped off that top. That's how you get back at the Jackson. <laughs> oh, oh shit. That's it. Oh shit. Oh, we done it. got it. We done got Third there, eye. yo. Third eye. We done eye, got bro. there. Yeah, we did get there, bro. Yo. You know. If 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 we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. <laughs> okay, oh, gosh. <laughs> Point is, everybody trying to cancel JT. Uh huh. I'm hearing people trying to cancel Josh Whedon. Okay, I read these allegations after you talked about it. What's the allegation? He's mean. Yo, you could get canceled for being mean now. He's mean. Yeah. But can you? Like yeah yeah. yeah. So mean. Yeah. Remember when it was rape? <laughs> remember remember when it was like yo y'all can't be raping people yeah there's not enough stuff going on son so it's now we gotta yeah you know it's like it's like netflix you know how they're running out of serial killers to make documentaries around mm-hmm. about so now they mm-hmm. made a documentary about a, a hotel yeah where like serial killers frequent no i mean it's I had, called hotel cecil or some documentary okay. i'm like y'all running out of shit yeah. <laughs> Y'all running out of serial killers. We went through all the serial yep. killers. We knew this would happen. They're running out of people to cancel. So there's a billion dollar company. You can't pay some motherfucker to serial kill? <laughs> that's, that's the move. You can't get Then make a the- documentary about Son. finding the serial killer. Son. Hello? Yo. <laughs> Hello? This is a no-brainer. Everybody's already in their homes. That's true. Everybody's locked in. There's no quarantine killer. Mm. That got a little alliteration going. Mm. How am I the one thinking of these ideas? Why I got to pitch all this shit? Schultz saves Netflix? Is that it? That's the next special. Yo, Schultz saves Netflix. Go out there, get to killing. That's the move. Okay? There are innocent white women in their homes ready to be murdered. I'll volunteer to be the killer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Kevin Federline when you need him? <laughs> Oh, fuck. No, but it seems like everybody's getting uh, canceled for being mean, bro. It's crazy, dog. At, at what point? Okay, so here's the fucked up shit. Like, if Josh, I don't even know who this guy Josh Wheaton I had never heard his name, dog. He's just I heard his name, but yeah. I didn't know who he was. Yeah, so he did a bunch of, like, comic book type movies. Yeah. And he did Buffy back in the day, which was incredible. Yeah. I mean. That's where apparently he was mean. So he was mean to the, a- to the actors. Yeah. But was he touching them or anything like that? No. Not that I know of. So here's the thing. If you're mean, it's on the actor, excuse me, to decide if you want to work for them or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? If you're mean and you threaten their career, meaning you say, yo, if you complain about me, you're never going to work in this business again. Yeah. That's fucked up. That's yeah. where you can get canceled. That's where you should be able to get canceled. Yeah. But if you're an asshole, we need to leave some personal accountability for the actors to be like, yo, I'm not going to work with a guy like this. No. Or complain or do whatever the fuck you want. Like, complain to the top. And if the top protects them, then we talk about the top. Yeah. When do we stop well, saying these... Motherfuckers are mean in life, bro. When do we stop saying these parents are shitty? When when did that go away? Remember mm. when you would be like, oh, these parents who push their kids into this industry of fucking monsters everywhere. Oh, this it isn't starts adults there. in Buffy? It's adults in Buffy, no? Is, I assume Sarah Michelle Gellar was a teenager, like, youngish. Was she complaining about him? She had, yeah, she said, like, it was, you know, tough for the top stars or whatever. It was really hard for us, etc. cetera. All right, I can kind of give you sympathy because you were probably young at the time. But uh, where are your parents? What was tough? What was tough about it? He, uh, there's one thing where, I don't know, this wasn't a teenager, but like one of the girls was pregnant and he would like make fun of her and call her fat and shit in front of other people. Because she's fat. In a beautiful way, I think. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, she's not skinny. Yeah. You know? <laughs> She's not skinny, right? Is, if you, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm trying to defend these people. I yeah, yeah. I read this like I, this is where we are now. Yeah. We've all had shitty teachers. Remember, we had a shitty teacher and the class wasn't fun. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You couldn't get the teacher fired. Yeah, you couldn't say she created an environment of toxicity. Anytime yeah. I talk back, I got detention. No, that's just what it was. You just yeah. suck it up. 
Yeah. I don't think anybody tells women to suck it up, and that's the problem. Mm. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. suck. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because uh, let's be honest, you need to get it back. Mm. You need to get it back. You've been quarantined. You've been locked down. Even if you haven't been officially locked down, you've been at the crib just sitting around. All right. I remember back in the day, I was walking all this time, especially in New York City, just walking time. everywhere. I was in shape from walking. Okay. Yep. When we were locked down for and months. we're just months sitting down, not working out at all. Nothing. Obviously, gym's closed back up north. Gym's closed probably where a lot of you guys are listening right now. Your bodies are going to shit. Let's be honest. You got to do something to switch it up, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to switch up your diet, okay? And Conscious Keto is going to help you do that. Conscious Keto has these shakes, and I'm telling you, not only are they delicious, it is the perfect meal replacement, the perfect snack, the perfect late night craving that's not going to make you fucking explode like all those other snacks that you would replace it with. What? You know how good they are? I take them. I'm not even doing keto. That's what, look at this fucking They guy. just taste good. They're filling. They're low calorie. What's to lose? But that's the thing that you don't have to go on full keto. No. You can just get these things knowing full well that all the macro nutrients and all this other shit is already worked out for None. you. So if you want to go keto, you can rock with them. If you don't, you're just having a healthy alternative to a shitty meal that you are going to eat. 100%. This is just a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Where do you get them? You go to www.myketoshake.com and they use the coupon code FLAGRANT and you know what? You're going to get 15% off your order. Okay, that's www.myketoshake.com. Use the coupon code FLAGRANT. You're going to get 15% off your order. I'm telling you, Keto Shake is 100% keto friendly, paleo friendly, contains no GMOs, no harmful hormones, no nasty chemicals, and no artificial flavorings or colorings. This is a no brainer. If you're trying to knock down, let's say, one meal a day, you're just trying to decrease calorie intake because you're not exercising as much, or you're not even walking around as much, just do a shake for one of the meals. Done. This is like the most simple no-brainer way to stay healthy lose a little bit of that quarantine weight and get your shit back all right let's get back to the show walk it off whatever <laughs> that's what we get told all the time as fellas Stop it was just the girls the guy who started the allegations is some guy named ray fisher or something who was like a that. guy too yeah look at this pussy what's he talking about cry baby ass boy <laughs> Ain't nobody listen to you dog grow up yeah i mean i just Fucking can't think dork. like of a production that i've been on where i wasn't mean <laughs> <laughs> like i'm hey bro i'm mean like if we're producing something i'm mean so if you don't like that please do not apply and i notice any alex scared to speak up right now <laughs> Yo, i am shit gotta get done you know what i mean shit gotta get done if i'm on adderall if i'm popping addies and we're working 120 hours a week mm -hmm. your boy gonna be snapping 100 mm -hmm. yeah I'm not going to ever threaten your job. I'm not going to ever threaten your future career. I'm never going to disrespect you on the basis of race or gender. But if I don't think that you're working competently, yeah. I will let you the fuck know. Yes, yeah. you would. Immediately. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you Yo, would. and you know why I feel justified doing that? It's because I know how hard my guys are working. Yep. So if you're going to be lazy and fuck it up for my guys and myself, they've been working 100 fucking hours a week. I'm furious. Who'd you go in on the hardest during? Oh that? boy, it was a couple. What's the one? What's the one where you're like, "Oof, I went in," but it deserved. Got to be those graphics. Yeah, it was the probably first, the graphics. The first initial graphic. The first initial graphic run I saw for the thing, I blew a fucking gasket for sure. Yeah. That gave me corona. <laughs> <laughs> that gave me corona. It was definitely that. Yeah, yeah, that was that was bad. Yeah, that took, was bad. It took so much out of your immune system, you just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they were telling me to fucking apologize. Remember, like, yo, you should really apologize. Son, to that. I, what did I, he say, Al? What did he say? <laughs> I know he wasn't going to apologize, but no. What did he say that you were like, yo, you crossed the line, like you owe an apology? Can't repeat it. Wow, <laughs> wow. Create an he created an environment of toxicity. It's a little toxic. No, that environment oh, was, was toxic. <laughs> that environment was, that was, was a Britney Spears toxic. toxic right there. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. But you know what happened afterwards? We got some good pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm just saying. They got a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> a <laughs> lot. Immediately and a lot. No, that is important. More staff got hired all of a sudden. Yeah, like, sometimes you got to yell. You got to light a fire. Every once in a while, you can't do that shit all the time. You can't whatever. But if you're really fucking upset, sometimes you got to yell. Absolutely. 100%. And that's the thing. Like, you know, like people look at like, uh, I don't see any successful coach mm -hmm. that doesn't yell. And then people always go, 
oh, what about uh, Phil Jackson? And, well, Phil Jackson had a guy named Michael Jordan that would punch you in the face during practice. Oh, and I heard Phil would go in. I heard Phil would go in after blowouts. Mm-hmm. Like when you blew out the other team, he would tear you apart. Mm-hmm. You did this fucked up, you did that fucked up. And then after you got blown out, he'd be like, hey, guys, it's okay. Be yeah. really supportive and nurturing. Yeah. And that was like, again, the genius of Phil. But he, after a blowout yeah. win, he'd go in there and be like, y'all think you're hot shit? No. That's it, bro. That's it. I'm telling you. Simple as that. We're going to get passionate. We're going to rock out out here. But I'll die for you. Mm-hmm. I'll do anything for you. That's true. If you're willing to commit. I really will. That is 100%. <coughs> I don't think that anybody who's worked with me, like on my team, would say otherwise. Right. But I'm going to need everything. Yeah. Agreed. Yep. It's like a war type thing. It's like... We're go, you know, obviously there's nothing close to going to war. Like I would never compare us realistically to war. Like we're doing the most pussy shit compared to like what those guys, that's bravery. Right. But what I mean, like in terms of dedication, it's like, if it's our team, we're going to ride hard. We're going to fucking do this. Yep. And if anybody's being, you know, disrespectful to like our time or the dedication we're putting in, then I don't have a problem saying that because Al can't say that. Mm -hmm. Right. Like if Al says that he could potentially get fired. Yeah. One thing I like is that you keep it, you keep the same energy with everybody. So like, even with us, you expect a lot from us. Yes. It's a meritocracy. For today, for example, I was supposed to get here early, set up the studio. I didn't exactly exactly set it up as nice as I should have. And I got, I heard from you about, (laughs) (laughs) and you was right. I could have did a much better job in setting up the studio. And so that's on me. So you got to, (laughs) <laughs> Take that, accept it, and be like, all right, you know what? Next time, I won't let that shit happen again. <laughs> that shit was funny, bro. Because when you were covering it for yourself, that shit was hilarious. Be like, I set up all the cameras, and I'm looking at the cameras, and I can see that they're not set up. But I don't know what to do in that situation, because I just don't want to be an asshole. So what I what do I do? The room was a mess. Granted, like it was way worse. I yeah. could have made it better, but it was way worse when I walked in here. Like yeah. there was bags, everything all on the floor. Because when you guys came in from that last set, you just like, dropped everything. everything we yeah, left. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know. But it's on me. Listen, cancel me, bro. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> cancel me. But I, it doesn't feel that a little bit. Doesn't it feel like we're like lowering it's the bar too much. for cancellation? It's too much. Chris Harrison getting canceled for what? So for shout what? out to the GOAT, the Bachelor GOAT. Motherfucking GOAT, Doug. He's my favorite. He's literally. I, I laugh every time he comes on screen. It's bro. amazing. That's so funny. It's amazing. He's so funny. And the idea that this guy could be disrespectful. There are 30 cockthirsty women in a fucking hotel. They mm. haven't seen the outside world. He he's famous to these women. He oh, could take yeah. advantage of that. Oh, he yeah. could be sneaking in and out of hotels. Oh, yeah. They'd be dying for that type of attention. Doesn't do a single thing. Very nice. Concerned. Never offers career. Hey, I'll give you better show promo if you nothing. See. None of that. Nothing. None who takes advantage of it. No, me takes too. that check. Is incredibly professional. Keeps it moving. Me too. No me. Okay. Too. No me too's. <laughs> he did something, and I've thought a lot about this. Yeah. He defended. One of the contestants. So one of the contestants, I believe, in in uh, Rachel. Yeah. It looks like Emily Ratajkowski a little bit, but more... Broke. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up, bro. <laughs> she's my favorite in the house. Oh, really? Yeah, she's my favorite to win it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's my favorite to win it. So she uh, went, I think, when she was in college to like a Old South-themed party. Sounds fun. <laughs> so... So <laughs> that's one of those tricky things where if you're not white, you're like, how do I dress? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like this is before Bridgerton, you know what I mean? Where you could just ignore racial history and just dress the part anyway. Yeah. And But an old South themed party. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about this and I was like, okay, can we not have any parties or festivities that are themed in the past while there are these incredibly like racist atrocities happening because they remind us of it, you know, like it should all of them be illegal. Right. And I, and my first reaction was like, that's stupid. There's more to the South than just slavery. They had culture that was independent from slavery and they are reenacting this culture. They're not reenacting a slave plantation. They're reenacting the outfits, the dresses, right. the drinks, etc. cetera. Right. Com- so that was my knee jerk reaction. Right. right? And then I thought, hold on. I'm sure during Nazi Germany, there were outfits and dresses and cultural um, nuances in the parties that that 
German people could reenact. But if they did, we'd be like, yo, what? What, what, what is this old German party going on here? I understand the party might be separate from what's happening to Jewish people in Germany, but it's still reminiscent of that time, and it's hard to separate those two. Mm-hmm. So while I don't think that a girl going to an event like this, especially when they're fucking 18 or 19 years old, they're in these like formative years of their life, while I don't think that that's inherently racist, I do think it's something that you can look back on as an adult and go... Yeah, that's a kind of stupid thing to do. Yeah. That's because it is impossible to separate that time with slavery. Mm -hmm. So that's a kind of stupid thing to do, even if that is not the intent at all. Can I play devil's advocate? Please, please, please. With your your Nazi Germany parallel. There was no German. German culture didn't slap. There's some Southern shit that's kind of fire. Son, what do you mean German culture didn't slap, bro? Help me out. I was trying. (laughs) (laughs) That's some fire South shit. The accents are fun. The fucking everything is big, big hair, big dresses. It's all just kind of fun. Mm. Now, maybe it's not fun enough to overcome the atrocity that people will think of when they think of the South. Mm. But everything about Germany in their culture is just stupid. The accent is stupid. You sound like fucking idiots. You know what I mean? Your clothes. It's all we can think of with German clothes is the actual SS. Outfit. That's a good point. I can't. Think we can't of think of any oh, no. wardrobe. We can beyond. think of the uh, when they're uh, giving you the beer. Oh wait, the uh, like what's it called? Beer fest, Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. That's cool. We go to Oktoberfest. Yeah, yeah, party. yeah. Dinda, That's not. I think is for the girls and later Hosen. Is late, the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, not yeah. in any way tied to Nazi Germany, as far as I know. If that was like, and if they dress like that, we're cool. Yeah. Because we're like, oh, that was before you guys hated Jews. Yes. Right. Yes. One hundred percent. Southern culture is a different in that sense. Now, maybe it's not enough. But I also think all Chris Harrison was saying, and he worded it poorly, but I, I saw that like two and a half minute whatever, yeah. and he's basically saying, let's have some grace for this girl. She made a stupid mistake. Now, the one thing he fucks up, but he can't, it doesn't make any sense. He go, He's like, he's, the lady's interviewing him, he goes, well, you have to ask yourself, is it stupid now in 2021? Yes. Was it stupid in 2018? You got to look at it from a different angle. And I'm like, 2018 is not, it's not 1998. Yeah. It's three years ago. Yeah. So yeah. that defense, dumb. I think that he's a hundred percent right about grace. Like we have to give people grace. Yeah. You know, especially when they're young and impressionable and all their friends are going to this party. And like you said, there are some really fun things, I guess, about Southern culture in terms of like the dress, et cetera. You know, if people want to dress like, you know, uh, Marie Antoinette or they want to dress like Bridgerton, like I'm sure there's incredible atrocities that are happening around the globe because of the fucking English empire. Oh yeah. But when they're celebrating those outfits, yeah. they're not celebrating those atrocities. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Um, so it is tricky, but grace, yes, you can't immediately put slavery and racism on a girl because she goes to that party. Yes. Right. You can put, I want to fit in with my friends and I want to do things with my friends. Yes. And I may be willing to do things that like when I'm older, I regret. And maybe I'm 18. I'm not, I have no worldly knowledge. I probably grew up in a suburb. I don't understand how much this can hurt people's feelings. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to a party in my mind. I'm 18. Everyone at 18 is a fucking idiot. You're not smart. Yeah. I've yet to meet an 18-year-old where I'm like, yo, I love the way you navigate the world. You get it. You're wise. Mm. Wisdom is for old people. Yes. She's, all right, it was stupid, I guess. We wouldn't do it now. She wouldn't do it now. She was 18. I think I can forgive that. So here's the thing. Chris Harrison says it. What, Al? No, I don't know. I just, and maybe it's because I'm black, I just can't well, that's think why of why your opinion matters. South without connecting slavery to And that's valid. Like and I, that I, I cannot just, argue with. Like even while you're dressing up, it's like you still have slavery. And I was that, making that argument me. and I knew it wasn't the strongest. So yeah. even if you say that, I will I'll be all right, fair enough. I Can think, you accept I think sorry to interrupt, but I think as Northerners, our only understanding of the South is slavery. Okay. And now it's transitioned into racism or bigotry. Mm-hmm. So I think most Northerners or even like Californians and so that's what they assume. The South is like whenever they Northerners want to do a dumb person accent, what do they do? Southern. Southern accent. Mm -hmm. Whenever they want to do a racist accent, Southern Southern accent. So that's our own bigotry towards people from the South. And it's because when we learn about the South, we often don't go there. Most Northerners aren't going to visit in fucking Mississippi, right? They're not visiting Alabama, you know? So we don't know anything but what we read in the books and what we learned about. So it's hard for us to disconnect 
their history from and their culture from slavery because we think they're one and the same. Mm -hmm. When there were, I imagine, plenty of people that did not have slaves but were still Southern culturally. You know, like the one group that seems to get away from this is uh, like people from New Orleans. Yeah. Like people from New Orleans can still like maintain their yeah their own kind of like unique culture they can wear cool outfits and do all this kind of stuff and we kind of just gone oh yeah but uh, that's a new orleans thing yeah if you do that in alabama or mississippi we're like ah, that's kind of slavey mm, i can be saying you see what i mean yeah. but like for whatever reason new orleans is forgiven yeah i don't know the exact timeline but it just feels like uh new orleans had like they it's more they mixed, mixed more a little bit I don't know earlier, yeah. so that's why it doesn't like, have that. Creole same culture spankers. is yeah. mixed, like black Creole. Yeah, that is a good point. Yeah. They are mixed, more mixed culturally. Yeah. yeah, it almost feels like the white people down there have a lot of like black influence and like yeah. almost like a like oh, like French or Haitian influence. Like, yeah, it just seems super mixed. Yeah. So maybe it takes a little stank of the yeah. racism off. Um, that's possible. But they had slaves throughout the Civil War, even after the Emancipation Proclamation. Mm. They didn't stop slavery until 1865. I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know, it's tricky. But Chris Harrison took a leave of absence from the show for this. Because he was, I don't know, he was what the fuck? deaf or something. I don't, again, even what I'm saying, Al, like when I was saying that, I was trying to kind of be funny. But if we, oh, if we say, okay, fine, you cannot uh, separate the Old South from slavery. Can you at least understand why someone would say, okay, a girl made a dumb mistake. Let's just try to be a little graceful. Oh yeah, that's what where yeah. we're saying. How but I think us- you could still call it like, "Oh, this was a dumb thing." It was sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll accept like, that. Can, I'll give you be, that. Both 100%. are true. Yeah. Both are true. Like, like we've all done things we regret as kids. You know, whether it was like tease people, whether it was like, you know, some joining fucking gangs and shit like that. Like, we've all been a part of things we wish we didn't do right. when we were young, and now that we're older, we're like, "Fuck, that was dumb," and like maybe I affected people in a wrong way. You yeah. know, like. I shouldn't have done that. Absolutely. But we're allowed to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that we forgive people. I mean, we forgive rappers for way more. Yeah. I mean, like rappers openly rapping about harming people. Yeah. And I love it. Not only harming (laughs) people, selling drugs and harming people within their own community. Yeah. We have some of the biggest Black Lives Matter supporter rappers who proved to us earlier in their careers that black lives did not really matter to them. If you listen to those early albums, they're not talking about white people that they're selling drugs to. The sentence is worded in a way that people are going to get upset at it, but what you're saying is, it's right. It's they put capitalism over the lives in their own community if they needed to, or 100%. my survival and thriving. And then we saw them change and become people that like we admire and we look up to yeah. and like, lead us yep. in terms of civil rights and black life mattering. We'll look at them and go, holy shit, this person is putting his money where his mouth is. <laughs> I fucks with that person. That person is real. He's matured. So if we can let somebody who has committed the most egregious acts possible, or at least has said that he committed those acts or tried to commit those acts, right, to humans, I think that we could offer a little grace to a girl who goes to a fucking stupid themed party. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I can definitely agree with that. And maybe if we start letting it, maybe if we start allowing people to like go, I fucked up as a kid, right? Maybe yeah. we'll, maybe we just leave that open a little bit more. There'll be much more people who admit it. Yeah. There'll be people who come out and they're just like, man, how stupid were those parties we would throw? We're, we're all full dumb. of shit. That's all we need to accept. Yeah. All of us ain't shit, and that's it. Yeah. When I call you out, I know I'm I ain't shit either. Yeah. But I own it. Yeah. That's all we ask for people. Hey, we all fucked up. We all did stupid things. Bro. We all say stupid things. Some some just personal accountability, bro. That's it, dude. That's the thing that um drives me crazy about the uh, the Chappelle uh, oh his recent God. like uh, speeches. The issue with Chappelle. And his recent thing is called Redemption, I believe. Yes. Right? My issue with Chappelle is Chappelle is the living goat, in my opinion. He is the living greatest comic alive. The greatest comic ever is Patrice O'Neill. 
but a lot of right I think now, I'd say Chappelle to be honest. Say what? I think I'd say Chappelle. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. That's I, just I preference. Can, I can handle yours. You can, yeah, exactly. I, at this point, like the top five or ten yeah. are interchangeable yeah. amongst personal opinion. Yes, right. But most people agree on like the top. He's five. one of the yes. greats, and nobody's disputing that. Nobody's disputing. Unbelievable of talent. Yeah, unbelievably brilliant. Brilliant. How he orchestrated this to get his show back brilliant was brilliant. Mm -hmm. Brilliant negotiation. We spoke about, I think, last time. He made the show valueless. Yeah. And when a show is valueless, yeah. the owner, of course, will give it away because he can't get anything for the show. Yeah. Not only was the show valueless, it was so toxic and radioactive that by still owning it as Comedy Central, it made Comedy Central look bad. Fucking brilliant. It was a genius strategy to get the rights of his show back. That is not the issue. I want Dave Chappelle to have the money yes. more than I want Comedy Central to have Absolutely. the money. Absolutely. Comedy Central sucks. Absolutely. Always suck. I want Dave as a comic to have the money and have the rights for his show. Yep. That's not a question. I'm just disappointed by how he sounds in this. Yeah, man. That's my issue. It's like, it, it, it seems to me... And don't get me wrong, being the most famous comic in the world is probably hard. And being looked at as a god amongst people is probably hard. And it just feels as if, like, he doesn't have people in his camp that are willing to go, hey, bro, I don't know if you should put that thing out where you call yourself a hero five times. Like, that's not a, a comic thing to do. Like, usually we make fun of people who call themselves heroes, yeah. right? Like, a hero's like, being a hero is like having a nickname. Like you can't give yourself the nickname. Yeah. Like people decide if you're a hero and people decide your nickname. Right. So I feel like a little disappointed or sad. Cause I'm like, bro, this is, this is not what we do as comics. And it seems as if there's no personal accountability whatsoever for like what happened here. Right. I want him to have all the money. I want him to own the fucking show over comedy central. Sure. But let's be honest about what happened. You signed the contract that you wanted because you the ball was in your court. You got the biggest fucking contract ever. Everything that you wanted, you got, mm -hmm. right? You walked away. They paid you money. You did not pay the money back, mm -hmm. right? Yep. They held the rights to the show that they owned per your contract, and you're upset at them. In no way... Is there no personal accountability at all? Yeah, man. I don't... Again, brilliant negotiation. He used his leverage. His leverage genius. is He's the people. He's genius. It's a genius negotiation, but the mischaracterization of how everything happened, and even when he's talking about getting COVID early on, he, I had to perform. Well, I can't not do live shows till 2022. Yeah. That's why I got COVID, because I was performing. You're also, there's pictures of you at bars with no mask. There's stories of you getting into fights with people, maskless, at a bar. Right. Don't make it just, hey, I'm a hero who has to perform for everybody. I love my craft so much. That's why I got COVID. Be three-dimensional in your story. Yeah. I was I kind of didn't give a fuck, and I got COVID. That's what it was. Yeah. Fine. I did shows because I loved performing. Don't give a fuck. Went to bars because I was tired. I miss people. Whatever. I can handle that. Yeah, yeah. Little shit like that. And again, I, I brought it up last time, but it reminded me of the, um, yeah. I used to not smoke and drink and tell this business. No. No. I was a good Muslim before. Whatever religion you are, if you start smoking and drinking, you fucked up. You failed your God. That's not anybody else's fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you, on peer pressure? Uh, yeah. Were you fucking 12 years old? You're, you're 30 years old you're a fucking multi-millionaire yeah, and yeah. these execs are gonna get you to smoke and drink your pressures away yeah, go yeah, to yeah. a fucking therapist bro yeah yeah, yeah. like I just go to a mosque go to a mosque talk bro. to the imam the That's best the therapist th yeah 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 I just don't like that aspect yeah, of him yeah. he's that a is terrorist not ter okay <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like that aspect of what he's doing again I think he's the greatest comic ever I think yes. he's fucking brilliant brilliant I'm riveted. strategy to get his fucking brilliant show. strategy to get his show back I'm riveted whenever he speaks and to your point but someone in the crew need to step in and be like bruh like you called yourself a hero five times I didn't even catch that so this is all that's all I'm saying I'm watching it and I'm going Imagine he said that and then had to sit next to Patrice after the show oh, at the back table to sell it. 100%. Patrice would tear his skeleton from his body. <laughs> he would literally tear his skeleton Patrice, out of his flesh. Accountability king. Accountability king to a fault. 
very much so is, there is a Patrice documentary I think on Comedy Central and that's the reason why no one has fucking seen it probably <laughs> but this is the greatest ever please go watch it find it it was produced by all things comedy great guys over there that's Bill Burr's company mm. and go fucking check this killing is easy out. is that the one say it again killing is easy is that what it's there's called? one I supposed to, I thought supposed to still come out called killing oh maybe is it easy. hasn't come out yet we will find a way we'll put some links in there but dude I'm telling you this is the, the greatest point is like if Patrice was around there's no way Chappelle walks off stage and Patrice doesn't go hammer him like He'd be like, bro, it was a sketch show, not the Declaration of Independence. Relax. Yeah. Like, yeah. Not, that's yeah. not heroic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, there are people like fighting in wars. Yeah. There are different on. things here. You're not fighting crime. Yeah. Like, come on. They're like frontline workers. Even that, if you that think. They're dealing with all the people that get corona from Cody <laughs> from <laughs> Yo, or from your general reckless behavior. We all right. got COVID. I got COVID at a show. Right. I'm not a hero. I didn't do it because I love performing. I wanted to perform selfishly. I got COVID. Yes. Yes. Never once did I talk to you guys like, hey, man, I, you know, I yes. just love the game. I just had to give the people that wanted to give. Now, granted, much, much smaller audience, but yeah, I just yeah, had yeah. to give my fans. with it. No, I got COVID because I made a decision. Yes. I, I live with the consequences. And I remember Charlemagne saying about Kanye. In his and Akash almost killed, almost killed half the comics in New York. That's really important. I yeah. did this. Yeah, I yeah, gave yeah. Colin Quinn COVID. Not because I'm a hero, because I fucked up. Yep. I miscalculated. Selfish. You I was selfish. selfish. Frankly, I was selfish. Yeah. 100 yeah, yeah. I needed to perform. Bro, now nah, you're a hero, bro. Yeah, yo, <laughs> yeah, yo, 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 We never thought about that. Yo, I yo. thought you're a fucking hero for doing corona and getting hey. the Netflix special shut down. Yo, <laughs> hey, hey, thank God I got some. Hey, bro, thank God I got some you're a hero, It's bro. because I'm heroic. I'm a frontline worker. Son. I'm a frontline. Why'd you do all this heroism? And not like get a show back or something I don't like. No, dog. Come on, bro. Get hey. the farmers their rights. Yo, at least hey, the come least on, you bro. could do. Come on. The least you could do. If you're gonna be so heroic and perform stand up comedy Yo. so that people can tell you how great you yeah. are on a nightly basis, <laughs> I, uh, it's unreal. definitely just for the people. It's not. It's not for you at all. You know. Unreal. Yeah, yeah. Unreal. And it's. <laughs> It's not like you're building houses for the homeless. That's selfless. But going on stage and telling jokes so people say how amazing you are, that's selfish. We do that for us. It makes us feel really good. Mutual yes. benefit if you guys laugh, 100%. But we're not going to be out here going, this is only for y'all. I'm only performing stand up for in, y'all. And I'm a Chappelle fan. Like, Goat. I know we all are. Go. Uh, yeah, I've. I just wish someone in the crew would be like, bruh. This is what I'm saying. Charlemagne said this about Kanye, I think in his book, in Black, Black Privilege, he says, mm. like, nobody in his crew told him no, and that was a massive problem. Mm. They always gassed every idea he had. Somebody, that's the same similar thing right now. Somebody in Chappelle's camp needs to check him a little bit and be like, bruh, you might be the greatest ever. You're doing too much with this I'm a hero shit. And if you drink and smoke, that's not their fault. That's your fault. That's personal accountability. Take mm -hmm. that. You were maskless at it. bars. Take that. That's, that's it. it. That's the only reason why I disappoint. You want the people that you admire and the people you look up to and the people you've looked up yeah, to for man. years. You want them to be personally accountable for their failures. And I hope that I can be personally accountable. I know I have guys that are on my team that will tell me when I'm fucking up, almost to a fault. The second I talk about anything, Alex immediately comes up to me. You know what I mean? Is it, Alex would be like, bro, you were wearing two expensive shoes on a podcast. People are going to think you changed. Yeah. I'd be like, all right. Like after this podcast, you'd be like, I think we should cut the part about the watch. People are going to think you changed. Just well. kind of thinking that during it. <laughs> <laughs> Al is wearing a whole Rolex on his arm that he owns. That's I'm true. wearing my girl's Rolex. And he's still like, bro, you changed. Okay? <laughs> You're wearing your girlfriend's jewelry. You fucking changed. And when you switch this podcast back to the gold flag or two. <laughs> it's so funny. You posted something to your story. And I was like... That's a little racist. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. And I like I, hit him up about it. I'm like, I don't know about that one. He's like, what'd you say? What'd you say back? I, I, so I posted, uh, Tim Dillon posted a video of, yeah. uh, I think it's his opener, a guy named Dan, I think his name right. is. And uh, of Dan like throwing water outside while it's freezing cold. Yeah. You know, sometimes yeah. the water will change to ice in yeah. midair. Whatever, because they're in Texas yeah. and it's freezing, you know. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> and uh, and I go, I respond to the video. I go, uh, wow, Tim is making so much money on Patreon. He has a white maid, yeah. right? And Al goes, that's a little racist. And I said, blame Forrest Gump. Because remember the movie Forrest Gump? That's right. The whole point about Bubba's family mm -hmm. was. Yeah. They had white, white maids. 
Oh. Literally, the joke was they started out as a maid. She started as a maid, and then yeah, she eventually she got people, so rich you know, white people were working for her. that she had a white maid. Uh, okay. So I learned it from Forrest Gump, who's okay. a great guy. <laughs> so you can't blame me. I really learned it from Bubba and Bubba's mom, who got a white maid as soon as she could, dude. Oh, yeah. She's putting that maid through the ringer. Josh Whedon got nothing on <laughs> Bubba's mom, dog. She is running that bitch through the mud. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, so... um. I guess in conclusion, awesome that Chappelle got the rights to his show. Great. Great. You know what I mean? It's great that he built up enough fucking power that he could force them to do what he wanted. Yeah. Uh, but disappointing that there's not any personal accountability at all for like how it went down. Yeah, and I'm starting to notice the tides turning, even within the comics that I talk to. Yeah. They're, before, we all were kind of like, everything Chappelle does is great. And then I was a little bit unsure about one or two things, but I, they would 100% stand. And now they're all just like, what the fuck is he doing? That's the other thing. We're the only comics probably they are going to talk about this publicly. Yeah. Um, I don't think any other comics will go on podcasts and talk about it. Uh, every comic that I've spoken to, it's not even close. Every comic that I've spoken to, every single one, every single one feels this exact same way. Yeah. If not stronger. That's all I'll say. I mean, he went from doing... All I'm saying is that that's it. And I don't blame them for not saying it. Because a lot of these guys would love to get the opportunity to like open, you know, or be a part of that world, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong. It'd be amazing to perform with Chappelle. I feel the exact same I think he's the way. greatest comedic mind in history. Genius. His mind... Born, like the way it is blessed to do comedy. I'm Patrice. I'm okay, a Patrice fine. Guy. We're splitting hairs. Yes, but like the hairs, way yes. his brain works, I marvel at the shit. Unbelievable. His callback, the uh, he saves but he rapes, I legit got yeah. up. Unbelievable. Like I watched LeBron hit a game winner against the Magic. Same reaction. Holy fuck, I can't believe what I just saw. When he wants to get busy, there is nothing like and it. And that's what makes this sad. I'll ask industry people like what they think about it. Because I'm curious. I'm like, I want to make sure it's not just me that has this kind of like cringe worthy reaction. And it's the same, dude. And I understand you get to a certain level of of success where people aren't going to tell you that. And I'm sure that on a much smaller level, much smaller level, I would experience that not from you guys, but from people maybe outside of our circle, mm -hmm. right? Maybe they wouldn't want to say that I'm doing something stupid or maybe they want to say that I'm you know, being sanctimonious or something like that. But... What I hope that we keep in energy here is that we're going to be honest with one another and say, hey, listen, you're crossing the fucking line or, hey, you're doing something that maybe you don't want to do. And then it's up to me or you to make that decision to continue that. Yeah. Like if we say that to you, like, I mean, we've all had like hard combos off podcasts just yep. about like personal shit. Yeah. And we have these fucking and we go through it. And sometimes it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. But you got to keep that. Yeah. You know? And th Yeah. I don't know. I just, it's, yeah. I think because we love him, that's why we're disappointed in this. That's why the emotion is like stronger. Like, bro, if you put out a special right now that was like comedy, it'd be so fucking good. Yeah. It'd be so fucking good. Or even just if you want to be a storyteller and talk, great. But just don't call yourself a hero and say you got COVID because you're a hero and, you know, whatever the fuck else. Just stop mischaracterizing how things happen. Mm. Be honest with yourself. Yeah. And someone in his camp, you can't expect fans to do it. Yeah. Someone in his camp got to be like, bro. You're the you're the greatest, quite possibly goat. This is fucking. You got to chill on some of this. That's yeah. it. Feel That's why you need Patrice, man. That's why you need fucking Patrice. I know. Patrice was that motherfucker, dude. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. Patrice was that motherfucker who'd be like, man, cut that shit out. No, he would go beyond cut that shit out. Yeah, yeah. He he he. What he'd do is he'd get up from the table as Chappelle was walking over, but. Let me make some room for the hero, everybody. <laughs> Let me make some room for the hero. You know me, I love heroes. Eating them, sitting next to them. I love me some heroes. Hey, is any frontline workers here? You should thank this man <laughs> for the sacrifice he made to for get his show back. in business. Yeah. Yeah. working overtime. <laughs> oh, man. But for real, though. Thank you for you know being out there and doing shows because we got some shows coming up. So uh, <laughs> you can go check out theandrewshows.com for all of our upcoming dates. AkashSing.com over here. That's right. AkashSing.com. We're back on tour. It's called so, the, the Heroes Tour. The Heroes <laughs> Tour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, you should call it Big Hero Seeks. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm with it, yeah. you're Seek now. Yo, heroes welcome. Hey, bro. I'm one fuck away. You're one fuck away, dude. <laughs>
All right, what else we got, man? What else we got? I know there's some come some crazy shit going on out there. Fuck. Oh, uh, what did you think about the um uh the daughter of the person that made the Lombardi trophy? This is the Super Bowl trophy oh for my football. God. You can't give attention to everybody. So she said uh when she saw the video of Tom Brady throwing the trophy from his boat to Rob Gronkowski's boat, she uh said that she felt insulted on her father's behalf and that Tom Brady owed an apology. Shut up, bitch. Yeah. Let me tell you something, bitch. That shit is the Tom Brady trophy. Yes, it okay? is. Vince Lombardi got two, you stupid bitch. Yeah. Tom Brady got three and a half times as many trophies as your cancerous ass grandfather. That was probably Wait a little a far, Whoa. but Lombardi, I stand by. No, Lombardi wasn't her grandfather. This is the craziest thing. Her grandfather just made it. Oh, my God. She's got zero connection oh, to greatness. Who the fuck are you? I mean, how could your grandfather design such a thing? A football? <laughs> <laughs> On top of a podium? What a creative oh genius. We got God. a real Elon Musk over here with their design oh capabilities. My God. This is the fucking shittiest trophy. When you really think about things, how shitty is the trophy? And not to mention, it's been in way worse places. Then mm. Rob Gronkowski's fucking hands and Very Tom true. Brady's. If it fell in the water, that might be the cleanest place that it's ever Safest been. Safest place has been is Rob Gronkowski's Bro. hands. Whores, coaches. <laughs> okay, it's been in whores, coaches. I'm not saying the entire thing, but you know for sure after the Super Bowl <laughs> party, they try to fit it up in there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's be for honest sure. here. Sure. <laughs> whores, coaches. You don't think they tried to put that in? Back and first, Al? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Son. You don't think? I don't think you don't think they went back first? 100%. Had yo. to. Had to. Come on. That's probably how Josh <laughs> Whedon started every episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Slaying that puss. I'll just say it, dude. What a Ooh, preposterous the thing to say. Who is this bitch? Who is she? Who is she? I cannot believe you. What's her name? Don't nobody know? Don't bitch. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's her name? I don't hey, know. Bitch. Maybe we got to reserve the word bitch for these type of situations, bro. Nah, it's a good word. I'd be using that shit for all kinds yeah, of Yeah, I words. know. But the power that it can yield or wield? Yield. Wield? Wield. One of them shits. Wield. Bitch. Bitch. Stupid ass bitch. Yeah, that was a bitch ass thing for me oh. to even say right yeah. there, bro. <laughs> bitch. A whole ass bitch. <laughs> this man. bitch a bitch, yo. Bitch. She needs to know. Twat. That's a good one. Yo, twat. It's a good one. I haven't said twat in a minute. Yeah. I think it almost like reads better than it actually sounds, mm. but just a twatty thing. The entitlement. You have zero connection to this. She's just trying to be fucking relevant. I hope they change the trophy. I hope Tom Brady <laughs> changes the fucking trophy. He has the right. Literally, I hope next year when he comes back, that's not what the Super Bowl trophy looks like no more. I hope they get a different Super Bowl trophy just to spite this bitch. It should what? be the it? Tom Brady trophy. At the very least, he should have the MVP trophy. I, th I think it should be the Tom Brady trophy. It should be the Tom Brady. You know how they got Jerry West? Yeah. First of all, how many championships Jerry West got? He's the logo, but he's not the championship. Bill Russell's the MVP of the finals. But the logo. Like, you got one championship and you're the logo? That's a little wild. Let's put let's put, let's switch that up. Jerry West got to go, too. Yeah, but then you got to change a lot of things, though. Hey, it, it, Jerry, you're sweet. You're a nice guy. You got a decent jump shot. Great GM. Great GM. You're not the logo. Mm. How many people, kids right now, know that Jerry West is the logo? When I was growing up, I didn't know it was Jerry West. Oh, it took me forever to realize I that. had no fucking clue. Yeah. Right? Who I mean, it should be, be Bill Russell. That'd be all right. It's the guy. Yo, the logo should always be the guy with the most championships. I love it. Nah. But back nah, up. He's nah. then you got fucking Robert Ori nah, out there. Play. Good ass yep, point. Yep. Shit. <laughs> no. Shit. Yeah, but ain't Shit. nobody getting 11. Because you know he'll put his name in that. Robert ain't nobody really getting will. Either. I think Robert Ori welcomed Tom Brady yeah. to the, like, the seven championship yeah, club. Did. I mean, that was adorable. That's cute. He's that got the right. Adorable. I love Robert Ori. He don't got the right. No, he don't. Yo, so <laughs> no, here's, he the, don't. Thing, here's the thing. Big Shot Bob. Here's the thing about Big Shot Bob is that even though he's not responsible for those championships in the same way some of his teammates are without him. Those championships aren't there. He so, won a finals for the Lakers, bro. Ex real talk. He did. So it's like, it's the trickiest situation because we're sitting here going, Bob, what, what are you talking about? Like, that's what I'm saying. He wasn't some bum. He wasn't a great, but he did hit the fucking game winners throughout mm -hmm. his career. So 
he can make the argument. Like when Steve, Cur- no, no, John Paxson. Mm-hmm. When John Paxson hit that game winner for the yeah. Bulls, John Paxson gets to brag about that ring. Yep. He gets to wear that shit, shine all over here. This is how you win a championship. He yep. gets to say all that kind of shit because he hit the fucking shot. He sure did. About he that sure one. Did. Huh? <laughs> he could say that about that one Oh, win. he can't talk about no more than That's that That's what one. I'm saying. That's it. One. He gets to talk about yeah. one. Horry didn't hit game winners in all seven of them things. So he, I think he has three big game winners. He gets to so talk he, about he, three. He, he take, talk about three. I'll he give him talk three. About three. Well, I'll don't him brag three. about being a seven seven chip club. Yeah, fuck out yeah, of here. So, yeah, fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah. You were in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Now, I mean, put I, some respect on Big Shot Bob. So, how many, how many rings did Steve Kerr got? Nine? Whoa. Something crazy. No, because he wasn't there for the first three Bulls. He was there for the second three. And he and went to the Spurs. Coach. Yeah, but, oh, as a coach. coach and coach. as a coach. Look it up. Google it. I think he got like five, six. Because he wasn't there for the Spurs first year either. I don't know if he's there. <laughs> what? Suck, hey, sucking teeth, bro. That's a good point. Yo, yeah. sucking teeth yeah. is a great way to show your displeasure. So I mean, it is super Kerr has five. Yeah. As a player. As a player, yeah. And then how many as a coach? Three as a coach. Three. So he's at eight. Yeah. He would never do that, though. He would never be like, welcome to the eight. He said it sarcastically. Coach. He's like, if you got one more, but like, he's, uh, yeah. he knows what the fuck time it is. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's right place, right time. It's See, like all of us being in Steve America. Steve really had the fucking sense slapped into him. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 like yeah. He never got out of line after yeah, that. Yeah, that shit yeah. really put him in place. Yeah, humble, humble. Yeah. But can we talk about how Brady was wasted, though? Oh, that's the best. Son, that was I love him. Amazing. And how he leaned in. Yeah. yeah. He goes, nothing to see here. He misspells all of it. He goes, nothing to see her. <laughs> yeah. Just a little avocado ice cream. Wow. Avocado tequila. Avocado tequila, my yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so good. That's good. It, that's it, the greatest. Greatest. it shows that he's a little human because I thought this motherfucker is just straight robot. I did too. Like that. I, that because showed. of the Patriots holding him back in personality, even. Yeah. He's, he's funny on social media. He is actually funny. And you know how you know he's a good guy? Because even when he's drunk, he's yeah. mad loving, giving yeah. Antoine Winfield, Twan, Twan, like just happy, bro, talking bro. to everybody, carrying his daughter. Call, that's that, him. Calling his players niggas. <laughs> no, no, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. I know the clip that you're referencing. He didn't say that. We're not gonna put that on him. His <laughs> sound, might, his sound. He might close, have went to some so. plantation parties, but I'm telling you this, he did not. It sounds exactly it like sounds the I haven't seen, but this. it can't be. Oh yeah. Oh, he goes up to Ed Reed. Yeah. And he goes, my kryptonite, my kryptonite. He's showing mad yeah. respect yeah. to him. He goes, uh, we got to get you over here, ma. And it sounds like he's saying it. Yeah. There's no fucking way. There's cameras everywhere. There's yeah. like. Ed Reed is black. Bro, if you say that shit to Ed Reed and Ed Reed lets you slide, yeah. who the fuck am I to do? It's not like he thing. said it to Key and Peel. You could say <laughs> it to Key and Peel. Yeah, there's a difference saying to a black guy that I know won't do yeah. shit to me. Like, Key yeah. and Peel are Ed black, Reed. but like there are white people that would feel abundantly comfortable saying the N word around <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's white people who give them shows just so they can say it. <laughs> I really believe that. And Ed Reed is not the one. Yeah, he's not the one. Ed Reed is the type of black where. You, as a half Puerto Rican, might be like, I don't know if I'm going to let this drop. <laughs> I don't know. I got to check in with this man first to make Bet sure. Money. I'm wrong. Bet money, you wouldn't say the N-word. <laughs> I'm, I'm wrong. I right. guarantee you, you'd be nervous about that shit, right? Nah. Bet money. I mean, like, Bet money. My, What's good, my dude? <laughs> what? Was it Clay Thompson not saying no Edwards around? Hell no. Ed Reed, Steph Curry, Steph no. Steph Curry not saying no Edwards around. Ed Reed, uh-uh. LeBron gonna think about this shit a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he Yo, gonna think he about might. it. He might. Oh, dog, do I want it with Ed? Nah, just Ed, Ed Reed is a problemo. Yeah, for Tom. If Tom Brady did say it to Ed Reed, mm-hmm. respect. So let, let me tell you how dope Tom respect. Brady is. Let me tell you how dope Tom Brady is, bro. <laughs> I was looking at Tom, a picture of Tom Brady and his Victoria's Secret uh, wife, Giselle yeah. Bunchen, yeah. right? And I'm looking at this picture, and I know bullshit. I know bullshit. I said out loud, I go, that's one lucky bitch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, this bitch is so lucky, bro. She is a Victoria's Secret supermodel. Makes more money than him a year. Yeah. I'm seeing them in the same picture, and I'm like, she won the lottery. <laughs> this girl is the luckiest human being on planet Earth. Oh, man. Yo. Unbelievable. What a guy, dude. What a guy. I love him. Got to get him on the pod. Honestly, if he said the N-word to Ed Reed, that's his eighth ring. You think he gets a ring that's, that? That's God. another Super Bowl championship in my eyes. I don't know about that one, but Bruh, I... you the champ. If <laughs> Yo, you say that shit to Ed off. Reed. That's how he threw him if off. If you say that shit to Ed Reed, you nah, the champ. Man. 
And that's how you got to throw Ed Reed off. You got to say it in front of him and all the cameras. And he looks at you like, hold on, did you just... <laughs> like, he, just he just confused as fuck out of nowhere. Oh, uh, fuck. Bro, I know. It's just... We, I mean, I almost need to play the clip. If you guys look it up on YouTube, That's you probably can't. how he confuses the defense. He's like, huh, one, two, nigga, one, nigga, five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> defense don't know what to fucking do uh, after that. Should shit. we all sack him? Look at, you know, and, uh, the whole defense comes <laughs> in on a blitz. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, the next play, he would get fucked up yeah. Yeah, that one time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if Ed Reed lets you say it, bruh, you got it. Yeah, there's a different level of respect. You got the juice now. You got it. I mean, just unbelievable that chick thought that she was going to get an apology from, from Brady. Tom Brady, how about dare you, About throwing the trophy. Bitch, how dare you? Unbelievable. <laughs> I, you unbelievable. can't get an apology from the guy underneath Gronk that had his hands up. Oh, yeah. The guy who actually caught it. Yeah. It was a wild thing to throw. Not... Because it would sink, because you can get another one of them bullshits. But that could hurt. That could somebody. really hurt. Somebody. Yeah, that's a Florida ass thing. Yeah. It, it got some weight on that shit. There's some pointy edges. Like, yeah, pointy. <laughs> like that. It's is. silver, it's slippery as fuck. Everybody's wet. They're on the water. Yeah, my man was drunk. Yeah, he was drunk. He wasn't thinking about nothing. Not at all. Living. Tell you how life. drunk you gotta be to say fucking. <laughs> that's such a drunk thing to do. Time. Hey, Yo. you can't jump <laughs> huh? It's so drunk. He was drunk, bro. Yeah, he should apologize, y'all. Come to see. So we need an apology, to Brady. You could have killed somebody. People had their fucking <laughs> children on. That boat. Dude, what if he hit one of their kids? He wouldn't, though. He's oh, Tom man. Brady. Is that Tom Brady? He's not going to miss. That's what he does under pressure. He performs. He performs, bro. Man, is Put a it right where they could catch player. it. PTP or bro. Damn, dude. He do it. He's the greatest. The GOAT. <laughs> Fucking Jordan. Jordan ain't throwing any. any Yo, let me ask you. Jordan in his post game speech, was he talking about how heroic he was a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, like when he, <laughs> careful, you're not gonna, like, like when he literally took the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to the promised lands from not even in the playoffs, from not even the playoffs yeah. before, and then won a coach, yeah, his first ring, yeah, was he like, I'm a hero, I'm a hero, and by the way, did you hear me, I'm a hero? Yeah. Did he say that? I don't, I don't think I heard it. Al, did you hear it? Or did he say like, <laughs> no. yo, we won this together and this is pretty awesome? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I think he said a lot of we. It was a lot of we. It was a lot of we. He made it a point to say we, I It was think. we, right? Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. I'm just saying. The GOAT is out here, you know what I mean? Doing yeah. GOAT shit. Yo, he you know what I mean? Dope. You know who didn't get corona? <laughs> oh, mm. the GOAT? Motherfucker lived in Florida. That's what's up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Play football. Nobody on the team didn't. There was no corona outbreak. No, nothing. He was having practices before the season in parks. Mm-hmm. No corona. Mm. That's goat, Florida, uh, baby. Goat shit. That's Florida. In DeSantis, we trust. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Yo, real talk. You rather you rather Andrew Gillum getting stroked in a motel than Rick DeSantis, bro? Yeah, he knows how to have a good time. You gotta yo, give him that. You gotta that's give true. him that. Let's be honest, yo. Andrew <laughs> on, Gillum, bro. bro might have been a great Florida governor. Not COVID times. If it was non-COVID, mm-hmm. this guy does meth yep. and he's bisexual. Allegedly. No, he's bisexual. It's the meth, allegedly. But uh, the meth is alleged. Mm-hmm. But it's pretty much not. But it yeah. is alleged. <laughs> right, right. It's guaranteed. I mean, you can't be bi. Now, if we're going to talk about fucking um, De Cuomo and yeah. Newsom as yeah. president, we should talk about Florida and uh, wheels in Texas. Greg Abbott. And DeSantis, call him, <laughs> they call him Wheels, bro. Yo, they call him Wheels. Yo, they should they should get a run at it or a roll at it, whatever. <laughs> Son, can you get a roll at it? I think he should take a roll at it, bro. Oh he got a roll. He should roll for president. Shit. I think he got a roll for president. Like. Got a roll for president, dog. Come on, man. <laughs> you got just a chance as anybody else, bro. Oh man. Would he say he was going to roll for president? Should, that'd be a great slogan. Son, if he says, I'm rolling for president. I'm, I'm voting for him. He has to. Yeah. I'm voting for him. Yeah, I'm voting. And just seats his vice on his lap like a baby at <laughs> Christmas in a mall. Dude, that is Abbott. the way. Dude, we got to do it. Roll with Abbott. Roll, roll with roll Abbott. <laughs> Yo, Elon, fix his legs. That's what I would say. <laughs> if I'm Abbott, I'd be like, once I'm president, I'm going to get that South African motherfucker to fix my feet. <laughs> Dude, we got to do this. Oh, bro. So Abbott or DeSantis? Yeah. I think we got to go. I think we got to go that direction. We got to at least bring it up. We got to have the if discussion. We're going to talk about Cuomo and Newsom. Yeah. So DeSantis looks just like Chris Scopo. <laughs> I it's don't even unbelievable. Know what looks like. No, he does. Oh my God. I got to show you right now. Shouts to Chris. Can you pull it up? Shouts to Chris Scopo, dog. 
you know, shout out to Chris, man. Love you, Chris. Man, out here losing weight in Corona. Did he? Yeah. He, he got like that hiv? Nah, he's just... <laughs> like Chris. Stop drinking. What? Yo, nobody talking about the hiv no more. Tell me that ain't Chris Scopo. Tell me that ain't Chris Scopo right there. A little bit. It's a little bit Chris uh, Scopo. That's exactly Chris a little Chris bit Chris Scopo. Scopo. I love how the picture that Alex brought up, this is how fucking Florida DeSantis is. He, he's holding a microphone that he's got to share with other people. So he only put one glove on <laughs> and it's for his mic glove. He's like, I refuse yeah. to wear any sort of protection. The one they made me wear. Uh, only just what they made me. I'm a left hand this shit. Look at this guy. <laughs> Eyes closed. We'll see what happens. That's his governing strategy. We'll see what happens. Leave it open. Let the people do it. But it worked, dog. Bro, it, it worked. worked. Everybody moving here. Literally, everybody's moving here, bro. Or Texas. Or Texas. But now after they saw what happened in Texas with the roaming blackouts and the freezing cold. Listen, my parents had no electricity all day. I don't know when they're going to get back. I didn't hear about freezing that. Freezing cold, 16, snow. 16 degrees. And in Texas, everything is electric. They don't have gas heat, so they just got no heat. Oh, Freezing shit. cold. Shit. Shit is rough, bro. Wow. I'm glad we didn't go there, dog. I'm just saying, bro. You know what I mean? A hero guides his, <laughs> his people on the journey to success. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, listen, it, it's up to it's up to a hero. A true hero, a true hero guides his flock well through the desert. If you want to stay warm to yes. my mom, and yes. not my dad, you're not allowed for obvious reasons. To my mom, if you want to start drinking, you could just blame it on the weather. And say the weather made you give up your religion and start drinking. Maybe smoke, do some drugs. <laughs> okay. you know I mean? Blame it on Mother Nature. <laughs> Yo, okay. Find a motel with Andrew Gittin. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have to be your dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, for real, man. Oh well, here we are down in Miami, bro. Heroes and shit. Hey, bro, we doing it. We are heroes, bro. We are heroes. Are there any other topics you scroll down? <laughs> no, we are heroes. Al, can you do the heroic thing and see if there's more things for us to talk about? Because <laughs> the way that you did that was, oh, hey, listen, what did, what was the line you said? Uh, the, uh, the cowards don't recognize the brave or some shit. What was it? Is he has some said? thing about like uh, cowards criticize the heroes. Call Andrew a coward, dog. That's <laughs> wild. He calling Andrew a coward, son. He calling you a coward. Let me tell you when I'm a coward. When I walk in one of them watch stores, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy is cowardly. I hot potato that shit right back onto my girl. My girl was like, "What did you want to see?" I was like, "We're here for you." Walk in. Oh, okay. There you We're at this mall, Bow Harbor Outdoor Mall, because <laughs> it's hot. You know, <laughs> guys. I don't know when the fuck Corona is going to be over, but I do know this. If there's ever another run on toilet paper, I have a solution for you right now that's going to change your fucking life like it changed all of ours, and that's a goddamn tushy, okay? A bidet. Yes, it's a bidet, but let's call it a tushy. We're not French. Even saying that word feels weird. A tushy, though, I like it, okay? Mm -hmm. Tushy has got these bidets that you can install on your toilet that you already have, Okay. You don't have to buy a whole new fucking toilet. You don't have to buy one of those like crazy Japanese ones that like notices when you walk in the room and does all this other yeah. shit. It's you don't need that. Whatever you have that you're comfortable, that your butt cheeks fit on brilliantly, that you've worked out and grooved to your comfort, you keep that. And then you add the bidet. And it's gonna clean your fucking ass so that when you wipe, you almost see nothing. It's just water. It's amazing. This I mean, is my least favorite thing about uh, Miami is I haven't gotten my tushy yet. It's in New York. I haven't gotten my new one. Oh I need my. another one. Tushy. Hook it no, up. No brainer. Asshole. Clean assholes for the assholes. I'm telling you, if we're going to be the asshole army, them assholes got to be clean. Hell okay? yeah. We get in the brown right out of that asshole and we do it with a fucking bidet by Tushy. Mm. This is a no brainer. I'm telling Anybody who hasn't tried it, I get it first. You're like, oh, I feel a little vulnerable. There's going to be water shot at my ass. The nah, second you have yeah. it, you're like, I need this all the time. It's the best. You it's stay there longer. The best. 100%. I'll text while water's shooting right at my ass. It's the best. It's amazing. Is that vulnerable? I don't care. Ready? It feels incredible. I've I've gone no toilet paper. I've been out and I've been like, you know what? A little extra longer on the tushy and I'm straight. Underwear is straight the Done. next day. Done. The only reason why everybody on this fucking planet doesn't have a tushy this is the only reason why. Well, a lot of people shouldn't hold still, but everybody with a toilet yep. doesn't have a tushy. Yep. It's because the toilet paper industry is jealous. It's big toilet paper. Big toilet paper is getting in the way of Tushy's dominance of the market. And we're not going to let that happen. Nope. Okay? We're freedom. We're fight. not. We're heroes. We are fucking heroes, Akash. I'm a hero with my Tushy. I'm a hero with my Tushy. Did you just refer to yourself as a hero? Oh, yeah. Well, absolutely. I did that too. Yeah, absolutely. 
I guess we're heroes. We're heroes, buddy. Fucking heroes. Anyway, you could be a hero too. Just make sure you get a tushy. You go to hellotushy.com slash flagrant. Okay? You get 10% off plus free shipping. Okay? That's hellotushy, T-U-S-H-Y dot com slash flagrant to get 10% off plus free shipping. This is a special offer for our listeners. Go to hellotushy.com slash flagrant to get 10% off. Okay? We love you. We want your assholes clean. Now let's get back to the show. And we're back. Uh, all right. Here's an interesting story. I think there's a couple more things we'll talk about and then we get out of here. But um, this chick who was an ex-MMA fighter named Gina Carano uh, was fired from her role on The Mandalorian. Yeah. Okay. Al watches the show. Yeah. Good um, show. He said that uh, she's useless on the show. Yeah. Her, her character is important, but she's a horrible actress. Yeah. She's basically... I think basically what happened was she was a legit MMA fighter. So yeah. like she started getting these action roles uh-huh. and I think it's just like, Oh, this adds validity to this person in the movie because she can really do these things in real life. Right. Right. So I get that. And sure. She's in the show. Is she kicking people's ass in the show? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And she can literally kick ass. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. In real life. Cause she used to be an MMA fighter. I get it. I get what Hollywood does. Right. Um, so she tweets out something. I think it was tweet. Or she basically put out this. And she goes, uh, she was talking. She basically compared the persecution of Republicans um, and Trumpers to the Nazi persecution of Jews. Okay. She goes, Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but by their neighbors, even by children. Because history is edited. Most people today don't realize that to get to that point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? Now, she got fired for saying this. Um, first of all, shouts to the Jews, bro. <laughs> the Jews, they fucking got it locked, bro. Bro, they really do. They got it locked. Where's Dove? Yeah. We need his opinion on it. Right now he's getting feasted on <laughs> by the Rona. Oh, boy. Yeah, yo, all that... Um, like the Jewish Chinese relationship, uh, it really is, does like reign true. Like you know how like you know, that's where Jews go on Christmas. Oh, they I didn't know that. Chinese food. Yes. Oh, Chinese food places. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now the Chinese are eating the Jews. <laughs> and, and, and Florida with this Rona. But uh, so um, I'm actually curious what Dove has to say. It's a bummer he's not here. But uh, it is interesting, right? Because what she's trying to say. Now, listen. Anytime you liken anything to the Holocaust, you could definitely make the argument that you're dismissing the severity of the Holocaust, mm-hmm. right? The That's same, what's immediately going to happen. Exactly. And the same thing with slavery, right? It's like anytime you call, like when athletes call themselves, oh, this is modern day slavery, it's like you're kind of belittling how horrible slavery yes. was. And yep. like yep. we say that. Um, now, you can make arguments for both, right? You could say like when athletes talk about being slaves, they're talking about their freedom to operate in the world is restricted based on these contracts, mm-hmm. right? And it, that is absolutely nothing like slavery. And I understand why there's pushback, especially from the black community. You hear it from like the conservative side who is just trying to do anything they can to like shut athletes up. Mm-hmm. But you also hear it from the black community. that's like, hey, can we not liken everything to slavery? Yep. Yeah. We're belittling how horrendous slavery was, yep. right? Most slaves would, in a heartbeat, switch places with a professional athlete. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, So the thing with what she's saying here is interesting because she's not saying, I think this is is more nuanced. She's not saying that what Republicans go through is the same as what Jews went through in Nazi Germany. Right. What she's saying is this is the groundwork for what happened to Jews. Yes. In other words, you first need to make it okay to publicly hate someone and shame them and then you could do whatever you want with those people Mm. so do i think in america in the year 2021 that there's ever going to be a time where we're just rounding up trump supporters half the country like you know how big the fucking camps are going to need to be (laughs) like we didn't even have enough room for the native americans there's no way we're going to have enough room to put 74 barely a minority barely a minority Mm. barely barely 49%, 49.5%. 49%, 49.5%. Yeah. Like, so that can't happen. Like, Jews were a super, super small minority in Germany. So this is completely unrealistic. But what she's saying is you can't allow hatred towards a group of people because when you openly hate a group of people, all of a sudden it becomes very easy to inflict acts of violence you on You can't them. make a person radioactive for who they are. 
that's kind of what she's saying. Like, yeah, you're going to hate this person automatically because she's a Trumper. And when when they are when it's open to hate them, yeah, violence is very easy. Like, yeah. remember a punch a Trump supporter or something, or punch a MAGA person. Something. Yeah, back in the day, like it was just like a, a a saying. So it's like, yeah, they we MAGA people are racist and sexist and all these other things. So you might as well just punch them in the face, and or punch a Nazi. That was it. But they were referring to the MAGA people as Nazis, right. essentially. Mm -hmm. And um, it is kind of weird that it. Nobody ever has issue the other way around. That's what I was going to say. We've been comparing Trump to Hitler for four years. Now the comparisons are stronger than ever. Nobody ever says, hey, that's triggering. Do you understand that Hitler killed six that's million so Jews? That's so true. Like, we can label. That is really interesting. And that's what bothers me about this. I think what she's saying is stupid. Like, I understand the general point that she's trying to make, and that's not stupid. She takes it to a stupid place. But people compare Trump to Hitler on the other side for four years. And nobody's losing be, jobs. Yeah, there seems to be no issue with that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So the left is completely okay when people use Hitler as something, I don't know, like a, a way to like judge how horrible a human being is. Yes. And apply that on conservatives. Right. Trump is Hitler. Right. Ted Cruz is Hitler. Proud Boys and all these things are Nazis, et cetera. Yeah. They're applying the Nazi Germany um, likeness all the time. How is that not marginalizing the death of six million Jews? It completely marginalizes. I just don't understand how the other side doesn't apply. Just to be fair, I do think both sides do it. Like whenever there's like some type of uh, yes, and person, that's it's yeah, annoying. They always go to him. I don't think this is yeah. fireable. Well, but that that is a. Uh, I was actually talking to Mark about this uh, the other day before he had Corona, <laughs> and uh, and uh, he brought up the thing. He's like, "Who did people compare people to before <laughs> Hitler? Because yeah. mm. Hitler is the litmus test for horrible, yeah. Yeah. right? So, and I guess it was apparently Napoleon." Really? Yeah. Like, I guess the Napoleonic times were like incredibly brutal war and people just getting fucking massacred mm. all the time. So he was this person who was trying to dominate the whole world and looked at as incredibly evil. Mm. Hitler came around and now Napoleon's like, oh, remember that cute guy that was a good general? <laughs> yeah. Like, how crazy is that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there'll be somebody worse that comes along and then Hitler becomes Napoleon? I mean, hopefully not, I but it's not. possible. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that fucking crazy? Yeah. All it takes is one person to do a little bit worse thing than you, yeah. and all of a sudden you're off scot free. Remember George Bush, most hated man in America. Mm. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, best friends with Michelle Obama, passing around fucking lozenges and shit during every single uh, inauguration. Yep. People love their relationship. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah. So Trump is one bad guy away from being. Remember that funny guy that used to yeah. tweet the crazy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And maybe all these politicians know that. You're just the latest person on the whipping post or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so back to this. I don't think that this is that absurd. I, I don't. I don't think it's absurd if the point she's trying to make is, hey, we can't tolerate this behavior where you allow people to just yes. openly hate someone else. I agree with that. Right? When you, What else is she going to liken it to? If you want to show severity, you use an example more extreme than the one that you're in. I think it's just so much more extreme that it's ridiculous. But I still stand by it. Oh, but I thought her thing is, this isn't what it is. This is where it goes. This is the beginning of it. Yeah. And I, I said the same thing when people compared Trump to Hitler in his first year in office. I was like, this yeah. is way too fucking early to do Let this. him cook a little. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Let him get there. He's just warming Let up. Let it marinate. Yeah. Let this marinate, this Trump, this Trump, Trump and hatred or whatever. Let that marinate. <laughs> When a couple of Trumps get fucking knocked out, then we got something. Right now, it's too much. But again, I don't think this is fireable. This is not something you get fired for. And if it is, start looking at the motherfuckers who compared Trump to Hitler for four years. Yeah, why does it never... How does that undermine, how does that not undermine what the Jews went through? Let's try to break that down. Why do you think that is? Why Where's is the it... concentration camps? Where did those happen in the past four years? Mm. Wait, None. What? what do you mean? I'm saying the, the U.S., where did, did Trump put people in concentration camps? Like, uh, tell yeah. me the steps that are so Holocaust-like. Why is it that you can like it? This is what's the difference. You can liken someone to the persecutor. Uh, you can't liken someone to the, the persecuted. Hmm. So it's almost like it's I guess it's no different than I imagine how black people feel about slavery. Right. We can call anybody a slave master. Gotcha. Yeah. But once you start calling yourself. Yeah, it's like I'm basically a slave. Yeah. Like if some white person was like, yeah, look at the treatment that I'm getting. OK, it's like we're ba I'm basically a slave. Black people are like, yo, 
y'all don't even know what it is like yeah. to be a slave. Yeah. But if you said, yeah, the way this guy runs a company, he's like a slave master. The way Elon Musk runs a company, he's a slave master. Yeah. I don't know if black people are going, hey, you're belittling how horrible slave masters are. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it would get as much pushback, if any. But that's interesting. But so, it's, it's an go. implied thing. If Trump is Hitler... Aren't the rest of the nation the persecuted? Aren't yes. they saying we are the persecuted? Yes. I guess they're not explicitly saying it, so there's like, um, what, a uh, plausible deniability? Yes. But it's essentially the same implication. It is yeah. the same thing, Yeah. but that is the way that you protect yourself. Yeah, I guess it, so. You just don't, you don't take on the struggle, Yeah. right? You just pass on the persecution. Mm -hmm. Right. And that is completely scot-free. And I think... Trump and it, sorry to interrupt, but we do this all the time where we're like, uh, uh, he's, a, he's a Nazi about grammar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Grammar Nazi. It's the exact term. Grammar Nazi, right? He's a soup Nazi. Yeah. Like, we use the word Nazi interchangeably with someone who's a real pain in the ass. Like, Nazi shouldn't equal pain in the ass. That's true. But we've... Kind of mean. Kind of <laughs> mean. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't give you soup. Yeah. <laughs> grammar right? Nazi. He's, he's always telling me where to put commas. Right. This guy. And that's what that's the comedic juxtaposition, right? Let's describe something with something way more severe, mm. okay. right? When you call, say, someone looks like a whale or someone looks like a manatee, yeah. right? They don't actually look like a manatee, mm -hmm. but you're describing them in a way more severe way, and that's why it's funny, right? Right? Obviously, she's not trying to be funny right here, but she's using the same tactic yeah. Yeah. of describing her situation in a way more severe way so people pay attention to it. Have they been trying to get rid of her for a while? Like, is this enough? Yeah, that might be I it, think, bro. I think so. Disney also super woke, though. My girl is watching... Now? Yeah. If there's anyone oh, that should yeah. understand... Yeah. <laughs> well, yo... If there is any company... Oh, yeah, yeah If there yeah, is yeah, any yeah, company yeah, yeah. on this planet... Yeah. ...that should not cancel her... Oh, that's true. ...for these beliefs... Maybe they're trying to make it right, you know? It's a company started by good old Walt Disney. Oh, oh, maybe you're right. Maybe they're super sensitive to their past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walt Disney was a Nazi sympathizer back in the yeah. day. Or allegedly. I don't know exactly what he said, but I think it's pretty common knowledge yeah. that he was. That's what you hear a lot. Right. Now, what I was going to say is my girl, first of all, Disney, I've always noticed, has been kind of progressive in certain ways. Like, they had that one Cinderella where Brandy was Cinderella. Right. And, like, there's a black girl that was one of the stepsisters and two white girls. But... She put on Aladdin after that, and then there was like a disclaimer that was like, "We understand that some of this stuff was offensive." Rather than deleting, than like editing out history, we think it's important to have these conversations. But like any movie they have, we started going through. We stopped the movie. We're like, "What about this movie? Could this be offensive?" Mm -hmm. And any movie that could be offensive, they have that disclaimer. Now. That's just their way of going. It costs too much to change this shit. <laughs> so keep watching this shit, motherfucker. You know you like it, but, but don't they be are. Angry they're on that. Like we're very much on the forefront of like yep. the woke movement or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So this is, I guess, in line with that, but I don't think this is fireable. I just don't. Yeah. You can call it stupid. I do. I don't think it's fireable. But we also use hyperbole every single day in yeah. our career. Like, that's what we literally do. Like, what she's doing, she's not doing it for comedic purposes. She's doing it for dramatic purposes. But, like, for a living, what we do is exaggerate things, so it's funny. So when we see someone else exaggerate things, we're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's relatable. That's what we do. Maybe that's why it's not so shocking. But for these literalists... Right. These like suits, these corporate motherfuckers who don't know how to think outside of like right in front of their face. Maybe they're just like, uh oh, people could uh, cancel their subscriptions if she's maybe this is a stupid counter argument. But we even the way we all use language, like when people say literally, it doesn't mean literally anymore. <laughs> Gary Goldman has a great bit about it, how like now it it's become it even just means figuratively. Oh, he's, yeah. he's literally a thousand pounds. Yeah. We all do that. Everybody exaggerates language. Yes. We all have a boss. That's a slave driver, slave master. Nobody's like. A stand up, so they get it in the oh. office. We all say it. So and, I don't. And you know what's interesting? She actually knows a little bit about not. Yeah, history. I didn't know that shit. Neither did I. Mm, yeah. I thought it was like Hitler turned on the light and then that's, that's it. I thought, Out bro. with the Jews. I didn't know that. But it makes way more sense that they slowly need to gain support. Yeah. They slowly need to gain support for this behavior. Yeah. And they tolerate these actions from like the regular Germans who are in the street. Not. I mean, this is. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I, if if you're Jewish, I'm really I'm really curious. If you're Jewish, do you not agree with this on some level? I think Ben Shapiro supported her actually, and he's you know head media Jew, <laughs> right? But like, which is very much head Jew. If you're head <laughs> media Jew, you head Jew, boy. But I I wonder if like as a Jew as a Jew in this situation, you're like, hey, listen, we've studied this. We know how this works. 
she's not wrong. Do we think this will happen in America? No. no. We don't think this will happen in America. Right. Uh, they don't think this will happen in America to non-Jews. But if you ask the average Jew if they think that Jewish persecution could happen again, they believe that it could. Yeah. yeah. My Jewish friends, I ask them, and they're like, absolutely, 100% it could happen. And it could happen quicker than you ever believe. Yeah. So I bet if I, I believe a race war could start. Oh, you don't think we're back to norms? No. Really? Nah, I still think we're on edge. Son, like, we got the Chappelle show back, son. bro. <laughs> we got the first two son, seasons of the those, Chappelle show back. All those people show that back. stormed the Capitol, they didn't disappear. Because like, there was just, no Chappelle show. Now that right. now that the Chappelle show is that's back true. and they that's can true. watch sketch comedy We need again, a hero. We got a hero. Everything's fine. But that's one, we one got of those a hero, things. though. Son, we have that's the hero. One of those he's things. not the hero that we asked for, but he's the one we deserve. What is the Batman shit? Yeah, the one we deserve, I think. He's the one we deserve, dude. But that's the thing, man. So Jews still feel that they could be prosecuted and black people still feel that there could be a civil war. That's interesting. Yeah. And I can't tell you not to feel that because the way that you look at history, it seems incredibly easy. Yeah. Right. The way that Akash and I look at history, we're like, ah, I ain't gonna happen. Yeah. But it, it's not, we didn't grow up learning about this shit nonstop going, Hey, it could happen. Yeah. So yeah, this is it's just, it's just a really tricky one. If she wasn't in such a trash one, actress, go. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. In this one, I really just think it's almost like when um, a company drops an athlete for some little thing they say. But it's like, nah, you know, like what the really was. athlete was just like starting to play trash. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, ah, any reason I can let him go? I think that's what they were just looking for something. Boom, you gave us a nice out where we don't look bad for firing some woman. Mm -hmm. But I also think if she was on the other side, there wouldn't be this firestorm. If she was on the liberal side, and again, it might be different because the history of being persecuted, but a lot of people pointed out the things that, uh, like the the anti minority movement, or I guess it was whatever in the last four years, and were like they were like, "Yo, this is how the Holocaust started. This is how X started. This is how Y started. This is how this like that's that's been happening on the other side. This is just the first time we heard a Trump supporter saying it about themselves, mm. and now it's a and now it's a problem. Mm. And again, it might be different because. Minorities, particularly black people, had such a history of being persecuted in America that you look at them, and you're like, yeah, no, that's more plausible yeah. than a white female Trumper. Yeah, I but, was actually I was actually watching this documentary, and they said like during the Trump years, like white extremism went up fifty five percent, like throughout those four years. Yeah. Wow, so like, that's a little scary. Yeah, no. wow, it was, a little, it was a little scary. I get it, but you know, Biden won. Yeah, so hope it goes down, but the fact that it's like you just don't think can it's have like that it's, drastic yeah. of an increase. Just Maybe because that's because it leading? came from nothing. Like, if there was two acts of white terrorism or yeah. whatever it is, or white extremism in the year 2016, and then there was three in 2017, that's up 50%. But that doesn't mean it's tons more. Yeah. I do believe it went up a good amount, and I think you could feel it, and we were all on edge, but I also think this You're kind of shit, shit up, only makes it worse. You're making that shit up entirely, bro. Come on. Stop it. Stop trying to steal my country. <laughs> Son, stop <laughs> trying to steal my country, bro. Crazy, so. I want we already my stole the back. vote, bro. Say what? You already stole the vote. Stop it. I knew you were part of that shit. Yo. You all probably made the machine. Yo, you know what it sounds like you need? What's that? A hero. Son, I, need I a wish we knew hero, one, dog. Bro. I wish we knew a hero. I need a hero, Son. dude. Oh my God, bro. Yo. Yo, what if Batman, after saving Gotham, came out? He's like, I am your hero. <laughs> New Yorkers would be like, fuck out of here, bro. You wearing spandex, bro. What the fuck you wearing? What if instead of we doing bailed it, you out. What if instead of that, it was Bruce Wayne saying it after a ruthless corporate takeover of Wayne Enterprises? <laughs> <laughs> what if that's when it, he's hero moment? What if that's when he was like, hey, Wayne Enterprises stock up 50%. <laughs> You're I welcome. am a hero. I'm the hero. Non-stockholders, too. I'm your hero. I have courage. You don't agree? It's because you're cowards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 does anybody disagree with me? You must be a coward. Because only cowards disagree with a hero. Oh <laughs> Where's Patrice? We need you, Patrice. Yeah. Um, all right, last story. Uh, Al, your boy. <laughs> no. Six nine. Get the fuck out of Your here. boy six nine uh, is causing some ruckus. Yeah. Talk I to me. Break I, this down. I didn't understand what happened. I read these tweets and I didn't get it. So it's more of his fake capping. So basically he I don't know how he knew, but Meek Mill's at some restaurant. He goes, waits outside for him to come out. He has his bodyguards with him. Meek comes out with his bodyguards with him. Everybody knows that 
neither one of them are going to fight, but they're all just talking, joshing. Both sides have their phone out, so they're recording them just cursing at one another while the fucking bodyguards are in between both of them. There's some shit I would do. <laughs> like, Meek Mill claims he spit on him. I didn't really see it. 6 9 claims that Meek Mill's running with police as his security or whatever the case is, but it was just who is, whole... Who is Takashi to judge anybody for rolling with police? That's why this whole thing was so... Isn't he a witness fucking protection? Yeah. No, not anymore. Oh, no, he he's was. out. You were at one point in your yeah. life in witness protection, yeah. so you can't knock anybody for having police security. That's why it's so Who true. the fuck else is supposed to secure nah, you? You can not... That's why white people feel safe all the time. Police nah. secure them. No, nah, no, nah, you can't <laughs> knock people with security if they are claiming they're gangster. Is Meek still doing that? Yeah. He ain't yeah. Meek all reformed? Nah, nah, he like half in, half what out. What restaurant he was eating at? Probably wasn't a fucking McDonald's. Oh, damn, I don't know the restaurant. Probably wasn't getting chicken tenders. <laughs> He might have got chicken tenders, bro. He might have got some jiggities. He might have got some jiggity dendes. <laughs> dude, he might have got some jiggity dendes, bro. I don't I mean know, that, man. dude. I bet he was it's eating possible. Hensi. You think? Meat meals are refined now. What do you think he got? Some jiggity cutlets? <laughs> Yo, dude, sometimes you don't want that bread in you just get a little nah nah cutlet. he at least got jiggity parm at you least get a little jiggity, jiggity parm? parm for sure yeah dude sometimes you gotta get a little jiggity parm <laughs> you gotta get a little jiggity parm bro <laughs> um but nah this is an interesting one because I don't know if this is I doubt this is this is Meek Mill being like actively involved in this but maybe 6 9 is just searching for a rapper dumb enough to beef with him. Yes. Yeah. Like, I think, again, I don't know all these motherfuckers, but, like, I think Lil Dirk kind of, like, brilliantly just said, I'm not going to deal with this guy at yeah. all. I'm not going to beef with this guy at all, right? Yeah. And then he didn't beef with him. 6 9s album flops, right? Dirk puts out an album later, and it looks initially like it's not going to do that well, but then it was apparently only one day's sales. Right. And then he's been killing it with this fucking album. Yeah. And so like Dirk kind of figured out the best way to handle 6ix9ine. 6ix9ine is a sale. Yeah. Sales need wind. Yeah. Sales can do nothing by themselves. Yeah. They just stand there. The second there's wind, all of a sudden you are moving. Yeah. Right? So 6ix9ine knows he needs beef. That's his wind. Right? Mm -hmm. So he's like, is there a rapper that's dumb enough that's actually going to engage with me? Yeah. Maybe a rapper that kind of needs some attention. Meek's been falling off. The music hasn't really been there. I mean, has he had like a hit recently? Not really. Not really, yeah. you know? So I wonder if he's like, all right, let me see if I can cook something up with Meek. I need some attention. I think uh, he's trying to drop a new song. He leaked a little something on yeah, his Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Did he drop it yet? I don't know if he dropped it, but he definitely show like a little preview of two new songs so he's trying to tap into the beef thing so he could do it he's also like what's the safest guy to beef with i can't beef with one of these real street motherfuckers because they ain't gonna kill my ass right but i can beef with one of these reform thugs who feels like they still got to protect themselves right. protect their gangster yeah. and show that they got it but at the same time they're like i ain't going back to jail and he knows he's on parole so Meek oh meek do, is on parole yeah, Meek can't do nothing uh, he's finding the perfect person that yeah. can't do shit that he can make look like a bitch yeah he gonna talk all that shit yeah. Make him look like a bitch, and Meek can't do anything back, or else he's going back to jail. Yeah. And Meek does not want to do that no more. Yep. Yeah, I mean, bro, this kind of corny, dude. I told you, I, I was telling Mark the other day, it's over for six nine, man. It really it's is, over for and it's a shame because he was so funny, bro. Like when he was just doing funny stuff. Remember, like running in the hotels or like playing goalie and yeah. soccer. Like he would do some really funny skits. Like he's yeah. a funny kid. Yeah. You know that, like, he edits all his own music videos? Yeah, I think you were telling me this. Yeah, like, so he comes from this yeah. as, like, an editor, like, creative, and then he goes, okay, how do I put together a character that will work, and I'll sell this music? But right. he's a kind of nerd. Yeah. And then he just figured it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's such a bummer, man. It is such a bummer. He was a really entertaining character, but, yeah, if nobody's going to engage with him with the beef, and he doesn't have credibility to beef, because... Before, when he was claiming super thug, you got to react to a super thug yeah. if you're a super thug, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Now, when everybody knows you're not and that you snitched and now you rode the cops, you don't got to react to that person yeah. exactly because that person can't pull your card at all. Yeah. If 6 9 calls Gucci a pussy, Gucci got to go, oh, I don't talk to the police. Yeah. yeah. He don't have to beef back. Yeah. yeah. If, who's a real street dude? If Lil Dirk calls Gucci a pussy, Gucci got to say something, right? Yeah. Say something, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 
I don't know, man. So what does he do next? Who? Six. Six. Oh, wow. Is it over? I think he has to pivot the music where it's like he could try to find a balance between like that aggressive shit, but with lighter content. Like he's still trying to act tough in his music. Yeah. Because his music is just aggressive. Like, how do you talk about a happy subject <laughs> when yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like he has to try to find that medium because nobody believes you anymore with the tough guy shit. Yeah. But all he really knows how to make is the tough, the tough guy, guy shit. shit. So yeah. Well, we'll see. Who knows? Who knows what happens next? But uh anything else? Anything else you want to talk about? I think that's it. I think we hit it. Yeah. Oh, right. Halle Berry. Do you care? I don't no. I thought you cared. You cared a lot. Friday is over. I should. I, I, well, I yeah. Then I was like, I'm not reading this whole article. Man. <laughs> I did care initially. <laughs> All right, guys. Yo, thank y'all so much for listening. We appreciate you. We love you. We thank you. Thank you for spreading the word. We'll be on Patreon this Friday. Patreon.com slash flagrant two. Um, yeah, man. We out here, bro. Thank you guys for spreading the word about Patreon. That's been absolutely crazy as well. Yup. So God bless you, man. And uh, obviously uh, wish uh, Miles and Mark well and uh dovitz and everybody just wish them wish them all well we'll be back i believe next week and we can't wait peace